Yo, 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 yo. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Yo, yo, salute, yo, 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 what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, it's your boy Trudy, yo, yo, Trudy King TV, back again with another live stream, what it is, what it is, special announcement, man, special announcement, um, um, Special announcement, man. Um, FYF Sports Debate presents the crossover. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, let me. Uh, if if y'all know, if y'all didn't know, hold on. Oh, that's the that's the wrong one. If y'all didn't know, the crossover, man. Stay tuned, man. For more, listen. FYF Sports Debates presents the crossover, man. Saturdays, five PM, man. We 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 the podcast is coming soon. Podcast coming soon, man. I lo- listen, y'all share this, spread the word, um. Wait till more a couple more people come in here, man. If y'all see it, some people may know, some people don't know. But this is listen, man. Promo run, doing a little, doing some promo run right now. We also also gonna talk about some sports, man. We're gonna talk about some sports today. So hey, um, what up? We got Herm in the building. Shout out to Herm. We got we got we got hey. Uh, and speaking of that too, man. Hey, this is welcome rebranding, rebranding part of crossover. You know what I mean? Um, casual part of crossover team, uh, Herm part of crossover. Uh, so listen, um, it's a sports podcast. We're gonna be not gonna be just talking about basketball per se. I know the the, the name crossover per se. It's a double. It's low key. It's a double one. It's low key a triple entendre because, um, the crossover basketball term and then crossover. We're gonna be talking about different sports per se. Crossing over in conversation in different sports. And then crossover meaning we have these different personalities and different pl- people from different walks of life or whatever teaming up and, and, and get, give them, giving y'all some great content. So it, listen, stay, listen, Saturday, man, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, man. Y'all don't want to miss this, man. Y'all don't want to miss this, man. Shout out to Shots Lamont. Uh, also, H from the UK. Um, sturdy, um, you know, part of, part of the clique. Oh man, some more than that. Let me. Uh, I'm for, I'm forgetting somebody. Um, my fault. I'm forgetting anybody. My forgot. My for, my fault. I'm forgetting anybody per se. Let me see. If I'm forgetting anybody per se, what up, Nicholas? Hey, Maria, Mariah, moderator. Mariah's a moderator. Must see what a minor must see TV. Listen, it's going to be changing the game. We are changing the game. Um, listen, man. Hey, you. Hey, man. It, it's, 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 this is, this is, this is great, man. Shout out to Mar- Mariah knows best. Scratch it. Listen. And granted, you know what I mean. I hope what them lights looking like too. I'm I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna drop the link soon, y'all. I'm gonna drop the link soon. Matter of fact, I'll drop the link now. I'll drop the link now. That's uh, about three out fifteen likes. But listen, um, hey, this this is what's what's going on. You know what I mean. This is what's going on. This is what what we doing. 
you know, the crossover, man. You know what I mean? The crossover. Um, let me see. Let me see. We got rebranded in the build. We got rebranded in the build, man. I say we Brandon is still gonna work on his mic, whatever, but yeah, young Africa. I forgot about young young I forgot about young, young Africa, man. And listen, more news is gonna come. More news, shout out MJ So Wrong. Salute to you. Hey, listen, more news is gonna come. Man, we changing the game, man. Listen, man. This is this is gonna be a dope podcast. You know what I mean? I'ma listen. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some more, I'll give you some more details. You know what I mean? But you gotta hit that membership though. You want it's more details. I ain't gonna listen. It's more details. I ain't gonna say everything. I ain't gonna say no personal meetings or anything. But listen, if you want, like you know what I mean, more in depth what we going to try to do or the goat. You know what I mean? Uh, we got casual in here. What's good, casual? For what's good, bro? Yo, what's good? What's good? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, man. Uh, can y'all hear me? Yeah, we hear you. Yeah, nah, man. I just want to give a, you know, give a shout out to the team, bro. You know, sturdy. We got sturdy. We got casual. We got true to king. We got Hearn. We got Africa. We got H from the UK. Um, we got Maria. Um, bro, like I, I'm excited, dog. I'm gonna be honest. Like I, I've been on panels with all of y'all, you know, and I, I respect what y'all bring to the, you know, what y'all bring to sports talk. You know, what I'm saying and I think. Now, if if not now, then when, right? Um, yeah. I think it's a perfect time for us to come together and be able to have those conversations. Y'all know what conversations we have on the back end. Um, and, you know they get they get they get heated, <laughs> they get heated, but they fun. So I want to see how that plays out, you know, in front of everybody else, and and how we you know we, we move it forward. But uh, what's up, Casual? What's going on, Big Dog? What's going on, yeah, brother? What's going on, y'all, man? How y'all living? How y'all living? Yeah, yeah, how you feel about the new like I said today? Hey, how you feel about like I said, hey, the crossover show, man, you know? Oh uh, shout, you know what I mean? How you feeling about it, man? Man, I, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Um I'm 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 happy that uh H pushed for this. Um shoot huge shout out to Lamont for granting us this opportunity. Huge shout out. Um and shit. Uh, true, Brandon, bro. Y'all, y'all know how I am, and I, 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 it's just the the group of guys that I'm, I'm happy to be going on this journey with. But we, we're looking to, we're looking to create something for you guys that you guys can be able to walk away from, um, each each Saturday and say, man, you know, that that was some good conversations. You know what I'm saying? Like we're not going there like the typical show to debate. Um or argue or anything like that. Man, no we're controversy. Looking, uh, we're looking no to have like, intelligent conversations about basketball, football, boxing, baseball. Um, pretty wrestling. much professional wrestling. Even in some instances, we may have to talk about you know uh, some hip hop shit because you know we we you know we're gonna have to you know we're gonna have to talk we, about we we gonna have to address um, that on Saturday. Y'all, y'all be talking crazy for on for a quick Cole, second. Man, y'all be talking we crazy. Talk, we have to talk about that J Cole and Kendrick shit, bro. <laughs> So, I mean, listen, about that. But, wrestling, um, occasional, yeah, occasional bro, hip-hop. Um, is- huge yeah, honor. Um, and that speaking of, speak, speaking of other brothers that we're doing, that we're doing this with, bro, A Sturdy, man. It's, and like I said, man, it's just it's, for me personally, I just want to make sure that we have the best possible experience for all, all of us. Um, so that, so that we don't have, we don't, we don't, we don't have to worry about, um, some of the other, um situations that other shows are dealing with like we're not well all of us have the same goal in mind um and that that's why i think that this show is mainly for for us to be able to display our our talents uh in front of multiple people and uh be able to showcase that we can be able to do a show on our own as well Mm. yeah, I'm, I'm be honest with casual. I'm doing it for the hoes. 
Hey, look, man, we voting Sturdy will not be there. Uh, after the night. <laughs> you can say he did, but uh, man. you know, what? I ain't uh, mad at that though. I ain't mad at no, that. Like, get it. If you get no, somebody but... off of this, man, look, me and True get to walk away saying we did something good for somebody, bro. <laughs> no, but real, no, but real talk though, like. The reason why the reason why we all agree to this and we're gonna give the people good quality show is to the fact that one of the reasons why, at least for me personally, I'm sick of the narrative talk, man. Like I'm sick of like I'm sick of um people giving low quality work because it's easy. I'm sick of the lazy work and to be honest with you, like one of the best moments on social media is, is having some of these great conversations with different mirrors of people, having an open dialogue, let it, cause you don't know everything. And like, and like I told you and true, like sometimes, sometimes the, the conversation can segue into some more education. And for some reason, and I'm not, and I'm not judging all the channels or platforms, whatever they do, they do. Cause I, I always say this multiple times, everyone has a lane in the sports sector, but what we're going to do it's quality talk. We're not going to be boring. We're not going to be narrative driven. We're, we're going to provide the people straight quality talk of sports. And on top of that, too, we're not, we're not limiting ourselves to one or two sports. We're covering, honestly, practically all the major ones, even WWE. So, you know, I know that's the thing between some people that's, that's we, considered we, like what's not. We got to get to y'all but, list, too. That was crazy. But, go ahead, go but, ahead, it's 30. but, but nevertheless, though, nevertheless. We we um we put this we we put this group of, of individuals together similar to quote Nick Fury. Sometimes you need a group of extraordinary people to complete extraordinary tasks. And that's what I believe we have. For those who don't know, I don't, and I just got to the party. On the docket, we have of course rebranded, casual, H from the UK, Africa. Myself, Truly King, Mario No Sports, and her. And no, no, and, and be honest with you, no platform is going to give you this level of diversity, this different levels of perspective, but most importantly, give you this level of quality talk. But uh, just is that simple, y'all. And I am not only appreciative, but also. I really am grateful to work with a group of individuals as this we put together. And real talk, it was actually H and Casual who came to me like, yo, we, uh, you feel like doing this group thing or uh, this show on, 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 on my, and honestly, I was, I was thinking about doing it a little later, but I was like, fuck it. Why not? And that's, that's what it's going to be. But uh, just keep it simple playing. We going we gonna to kill this shit. I mean, hey, absolutely, man. Like, I can't say any better, man. Listen, man, hey, like you said before, man, listen, it, it's coming soon. Listen, like you said before, um, yeah, like you said, we're going to y'all start on the network. Y'all know it's going to be entertaining. Yeah, like, FYI, like, like you said before, man, like, hey, the idea presented itself. Um, and say, hey, they, they actually, hey, hey. Like same same thing with thirty. They, they got asked and say, hey, "Shout out to H. H. That he came up with the idea. Said, hmm, okay, yeah. I bet I'll do it. You know what I mean? Cause like I said, like I said, Lamont. It ain't just about basketball. It's, it ain't F Y F basketball. It's F Y F sports debates. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. he talks sports. You know what I mean? And and true so, and I, true, and true and I've been essentially day ones from F Y F platform, and we understand Lamont is a, a good brother and most importantly he's a busy man so he, sometimes he don't always get the coverage of different sports and frankly don't have the knowledge of different sports to the same degree he does basketball because he dedicated his life to understanding and practicing that game so just because just because um lamont has the expertise in one sport don't necessarily mean we can't cover all sports Right. And like you like you alluded to, there's a reason why it's called FIF sports debates. We're gonna cover it all. 
I'm talking from men's basketball, women's basketball, yeah, women's basketball, MMA, boxing, football, baseball. We're going to get it all. WWE, we're going to get it all. Hey, shout out to Real. And like you said, and, and speaking of that, I'm. Oh, shout out to Real Take Your Face the Base, SB Sports Talk, and shout out to Sean Webb over there, man, when they do the Real Take Your Face the Base every Monday and Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, um, and 7 p.m. Central Time. SB, I'll, shout SB, out I'll, make sure, SB I'll, make sure to, I'll, I'll make sure to send you the pictures and shit. I got you, brother. Yeah, I'll, send, I'll just send them a picture. I'll send them a, a couple pictures. If you want two, two, casual. Okay. Sit, like, I, got, I don't know exactly oh, no, no, no. who got I mean, we, should, we, got the, yeah, we got the same from, promo pics, so shit. You, yeah, you so... I mean, listen, like I said, we cover it all. And like I said, listen, and we, like I said, we're going to bring, listen, hopefully we can bring in people like the SB, that, like, hey, SB, hey, like I said, SB, hey, like I said, SB versus other things, sports, and Sean, bring, like I said, guests in and whatever case may be to talk. Get, listen, it's going, it's, listen, it's going to be great conversations. 1,000%. Simple. 1,000%. It's going to be, it's going to be layered. It's like, it's not just simple surface level or what happened on the court. My some shows we're gonna break down the business of it, some show we're gonna break down the um the impact of it, another show we might break down the tactics of it. You don't know, but what you what you can guarantee is gonna be consistent, it's gonna be high quality, and most importantly, it's gonna be diverse. And in particular, like and in particular cash that we have, I'm confident in this group. Because frankly, some people have their own secret weapon, but some people, some people have uh, a hope. We have a start. You know what I'm saying? So like, we we can't lose. <laughs> we we just can't lose. Is that simple? Oh my god! Hey, and, man, I ain't gonna lie to you, Loki. That that's a fire fucking comparison. <laughs> that's a and, fucking fire. But but that's that's the thing too. Like the reason why we're gonna work because the group of individuals that we have together, we all we all we're, one we're not really disrespectful people, but also we're, we're students of the game. In any area of sports that we love to cover and study, we're students of the game, and we don't mind putting people on game every single time we have this discourse. And that's why these individuals was picked. That's why we came together, because I, talking to all these all these individuals as, um, from time to time, I learned something new almost every single time. And I say, why not? Why can't we, why can't we cross over to different sports and cross over to different topics to to cross over to different um audiences to bring quality work and it's only the beginning watch, watch party for the playoffs um specifically um probably not like i said we're gonna cover all like like i said we're gonna cover all sports whatever case may be like we can we definitely going to when it's playoffs time we're going to emphasize on that when it's NBA or NFL or things of that nature, that's why I, we. But when that when I ain't work, I'll pull up. Like I said before, listen. Cause like I said before, we gonna have a, a road. Like I said, road. Listen, rotating people want to guess and talk come up. You know, what I mean? and we like we gonna interact with the chat too. We are gonna interact with people. You know what I mean? Yeah, things, maybe, listen, I ain't gonna say it's other things. Mm-hmm. I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna listen. I'm not gonna, things, say, I'm, I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say. Yeah, I'm not gonna say that it's not a it's not a it's not a possibility for us doing a watch party. Um, it may not be on um, FYF. We may, you know, guest on each other's shows because I don't know if you guys know, but we have uh, between me and True, we have two different platforms. Plug your, ch- um, please plug, plug your stuff. From, man. Plug your stuff. Uh, my 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 channel is Vanity Sports Debates. Uh, we do uh, we do our webisodes on Sundays and Wednesdays and even Fridays. We just came out with Full Court Press, uh, where my co-host um, Zeno he does his um, his his episodes where he allows the viewers to be able to join in and give their um, give their thoughts and point of views on stuff. So um, yeah, uh, and we also did um, funny enough we did a we did a live watch of um, WrestleMania 40. If you guys haven't got to see it, if you got some wrestling lovers up in here, but um, yeah, it, it's a possibility of us doing it, but mainly what you'll see on the channel, um, or at least what uh, as, as what we agreed on, is whenever uh, whenever there's talking points that we want to go on um, for any sport, we'll make sure to tackle those points for you know however time however much time we see fit. Um, 
or however much however much time you guys see fit because we're doing this for you guys more more than um anything all right, hey, y'all gotta get a theme song. Theme song going away. Oh, we, um, bro, we working on the theme song. We already we, we got we got unique <laughs> segments. Trust me, we got we we well prepared. All right, we ain't no ain't no ain't no Drake's in it. All right, we well prepared. We K dot over here. All right, Actually, we got multiple you know preparations. We got a Drake okay? in here. We do got a Drake in here. Brandon up in this. Wait, hold on, That's Drake? what we got. Wait, hold yeah, on, yeah, yeah. Oh. Y'all talk about. They talk about. We got a Hulk. We got an ace thirty. Nah, nah, we got nah, a listen. Brandon, nigga. I'm Jay. We, got, I'm we, 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 we all Aubrey. We all Aubrey. Yeah, no, Aubrey. Yeah, yeah, no, not Aubrey. Aubrey. No, Aubrey. Yeah, we no, we Aubrey. Yeah, listen, we Aubrey. No, we hey, listen. We got. We got feelings. We don't know who to blame. Like, I like to apologize. Nah. Uh, actually, funny enough, though, we're working on. We 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 we're taking um any. Anybody that wants to take a crack at making the theme song for the show, we're definitely open to. But I got to be honest with y'all, man. I'm looking forward to this Brandon verse. We've been told for like the last month that Brandon was going to sing. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Listen, listen, listen. listen. And no, us no, no. to decide so, if he's so, going yeah. to be the person hold on, to make hold the theme hold on, song. Hold on, hold on. Hey, I ain't heard no verse yet. Man. Rip, rip, What's going rip, on, Brandon? Rip. No, listen. Can, can y'all hear me? Yeah, I listen. I hear you. Okay, no. Nah, so listen. So there is something that's already being worked I'm waiting out. On, I'm waiting on Brandon to send this, nah, send on, this, send this goddamn no, no, no. verse, man. Once listen, he send this listen. verse, I'm not to that attempt to wait. The way he talking about it, I might fuck nah, with it. Nah, and if nah, I'm fucking nah, with it, no, we got to make, we gotta let him him do it. Hold on, do can it, you hear me? Casual. Yo, listen. you hear Casual here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You hear me, Casual? All right, nah, cool. No, no, I can't hear. I can't hear, Brandon. Damn. I can hear him. But, sir, do you hear him, sir? Okay, there it is. Yeah, I hear. All right, all right. Yeah. He can hear me now. He can hear me now. So, yeah. so Lamont is working on something. Lamont is putting something together. Uh, you know, he already reached out to us. Um, and shout out to Lamont. Um, yeah. I, I'm gonna be. Bro, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this because one, um, it's, it's, bro. Like it, it, we, we have a lot of great YouTubers, right? In the, in the sports talk community, right? Like. Whether you know they narrative based or they they X's and O's based, like they, I think there's a necessary lane for everybody, right? And I think one thing that we are all seeing is that there was a lane for us, you know. Um, I res like I respect all these guys, right? That that we came to uh, we came to this with, right? Um, I think Sturdy was saying it, but I learned something every conversation. You know, what I'm saying y'all not gonna see all the conversations where, I mean, we got them screaming on each other and going back and forth over sports and shit, but. We respect each other's knowledge of the game. And, you know, um, the biggest thing I think I've learned from even speaking with a few of the guys is sometimes, you know, hey, you, you can have your opinion, but when presented with a new inf with new information, you kind of got to, you know, be man enough yeah. to be like, you know what, bro, I see it from that point. Um, yeah. and, you know, I, I do that a lot with true annoying ass, you know, Mr. Petty, <laughs> one of the most petty niggas I know in this world. Uh, but, man, we excited, though, for real. I'm definitely excited to see what uh so we're working on that with we working on that with 32 uh Brandon bro. You're trying to get that nigga to stop saying, nah man, I'm right. I'm right. Yeah, no, listen. Hold on. So this, <laughs> this is 30. Well, no, 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 no. Because listen, I didn't say that. No, sir, you didn't say you said that, nigga. We talk, we just talking to the point. This nigga's 30. No, 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 no. Because rebrand it, rebrand it, rebrand it. Listen, this is what I want. This is what I want us to do. I want us to get away from the narratives. Like, it has to be common sense in our talking points. Like, no, nah, we'll salute the 30. Nah, man. <laughs> salute. But, um, Listen, man. Gonna... It, it, Go ahead. Yeah, so it, it's going to be lit, though. It's going to be lit, though. Like, I don't like, I don't like, have... I don't like the level of my articulation because it, it kind of deceives people. <laughs> people think I'm not from the hood. People think I didn't grow up with sugar sandwiches, like like okay, grew up with FOMO, like like grew up with grew up with, grew up, grew up in a room with, with three whole brothers with one one who with one full room with no more covers. Like I don't, they just, it, it fucks up the whole perception of my 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 genesis, my my backstory. You would say the Lord of thirty, but it all it's all good. You gotta have you gotta have multiple sides. You know what I mean? Like I said, hey, oh go ahead, Trump. what you about to say, Rebrandon? Nah, go, 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 go ahead, run it. Oh, yeah. So, listen, man, like I said, you see this here, man. Like I said, you see this here, man. Like I said, Saturday, you know what I mean, 5 p.m. Eastern, you know, the crossover, FYI Presents, you know what I mean, the crossover is going is going down. Like, listen, we changed the game, man. We got, what up, Matt, Matt Moses in the building. Salute. 
You know what I mean? We see you, man. It, it, it's going down. Like, it, it's oh, by the way, oh, by the way, yo, we um, we're gonna have we're gonna have a meeting, in, you know, in um, in the shop, uh, tomorrow. All right, so uh, I'm, I'm gonna post the yeah. time later. But yeah, uh, say less. Mm-hmm. So can we can we get into something real quick? Because um, oh, most definitely. Speaking speaking of sports, we talking about the wrestling. You talking about the wrestling. You talking about the wrestling top no, ten we, thing. We, we, yeah, because yeah, we do a few things. The wrestling top ten. We can talk about how Drew Holiday signed a four year extension. We can talk mm-hmm. about. We can talk oh, about. Um, that was crazy. We can talk about um the the um uh, because there's some things I don't want to talk about. I want to I want to say for for Saturday. Um, yeah, same yeah, really. Just a little, just a little, just give people a little promo. First ever time on the crossover Saturday. Not only we're gonna do a certain a certain list that never been done before, but also Chu and I is gonna do FIL's first ever crossover's first ever MMA breakdown and predictions. For the exclusive UFC 300 yeah. coming up this week, 300. Yep, oh. UFC 300 coming soon. Oh. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be fire. Listen, and, and I may, I may or may not do a live stream of that. So I'll let y'all know, like I said, because it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot. Because yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna be able to do it. I think I'm not gonna don't hold me to it. If, but, hey, if you got time, if you got time, but true, it's gonna be right after. You know, it's gonna be right after us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we starting at five, yeah, right yeah. after the show, prelim start. Like I said, Team FWF, no, and like I said, Team FWF too. Like I said, people that don't know about, like I said, hey, listen, I put, I'm going to put the casual channel, Vanity Sports Debates. Man, I'm going to put it in the chat again. Go subscribe. Sturdy and Brandon don't got channels yet, but when they do, y'all going to know about it. Um, Shit, um, while we here, make damn. sure y'all get the likes up on this channel, though. Like, come on. Definitely get, get the, the likes up. up. Definitely get the likes up, man. Get for the sure. likes up for sure. sure. Um, but yeah, put put the I put the link in the Vanity Sports debates. Go subscribe or dumb. You may know some familiar faces over there or paying up. But like I said, this is casual. Um, it, 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 yeah. So they they Wait. do they do they do like like I said they got like a network over there too. They got they talk basketball. They talk football over there. And other things. So listen, go subscribe to that channel. Um, my let me let me double check the they at they at hundred twenty seven subscribers, man. Look, hey, listen, put get them to two hundred, man. Listen, hey, keep keep get hey. So doing that, so click that link, subscribe to their channel. Um, keep hitting this like button. Listen, listen, hit that like button. Um, all that good stuff, man. Hey, listen, um, so super are, chats so- there hey, if you. Super chat's right there. Like I said, if you don't want a super chat, you don't want to donate in the pin comments, whatever, or join. One thing y'all can do is hit that like button. Hit that yeah, notification sure bell. That like subscribe. Button. Share all that. That's, that's for free. You do that's that's yeah. for free ninety nine. So what you about to say, Brandon? Well, nah. So I I just want to know real quick, are we saving the that 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 egregious wrestling top ten list? Uh, for Saturday. No, nah, we can say it now, though. We, we can, can we say it now. Nah, no, we, we can do that now. We can we do that now. Hold on, let me, let me, hold on. Because I do want to, I do want to mention maybe a slight on that on when it comes to the Roman Reigns, but like in the the, the state of WWE per se, I want to touch. No, nah, that, that yeah, that that but we that, can talk. We can talk about that. But the top ten, we get that. We get that. We got to do that. So, so this is okay. So. H, if y'all know who H is, H from the UK, he posed. Oh the yeah, his top ten. He okay. posed the he posed the question. Um, I believe it was like just your top ten wrestlers, right? Yes. And I oh, said, just favorites or, or greatest? Just favorites. favorites or greatest? That's what that's what I thought he was saying. Uh, I thought he was no. saying favorites. No, no go ahead, no, greatest. No, no, no. Actually, I thought he was saying greatest. Actually. I go back. So, I go back. And look at it. But when? So I got a question. When did John Cena become the the goat of wrestling? When did that happen? He he got a when goat. Did he, when did he become like the like the like consensus goat or like in yeah, the conversation when, for being the goat? When, when no, no, he, yeah. he, well, no, no, he no, never. He's not. No, there is no consensus. Is I don't think there's a consensus goat. goat. Yes. but but I'm not. He has a great argument for yes. top five. He has a great argument for. Mount Rushmore, like that man. That man, he was he was not only the face, but he. How long? How long was John Cena? Like his run as a as a relevant person was about ten to thirteen like, years. 
when you say relevant, when you say relevant, you mean like I mean yeah. since it's and I'm saying since his first like you know his first what, official what did he come in like two thousand two his first no, 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 not, like, not his debut yeah not his debut but his first you know his first I the way I do I say relevant when you got we got a character that sticks so when he oh, first became okay. yeah so 2000, the doctor, that's two thousand five yeah when he first became um thugonomics that's when that's when I think his run started. And then for him well, to only well, elevate, okay, okay. I, okay, I to, to him to something. Yes. Not yeah, for him to start off as a heel. Not when Thugonomics no, no, started. I, not when Thugonomics started, but when Thugonomics finally caught on, because it took a little while for it to catch on. Yeah, but that's not all. That, you know, that's not all characters, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. just saying, like, what, what essentially what I'm saying, when that character started to build up speed, and for him to come in as the, he actually came as a good guy, but for the Thugonomics to develop as a heel, and then for him to. Be a decent, be actually a decent, good heel to only elevate to a people pleaser to, to one of the most greatest. How can I put it? Because you know, there's the, um, there's the heel and there's the hero. One of to the greatest one of, faces, one of the greatest, one of the greatest faces of WWE history. history, like period. Yes. He was a, he was a face for a generation. When 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 I remember when him and Rock came back and it was going back and forth, it was similar to Hitman and, and Murder Mook in a way. It's like not 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 apples to apples, but Terms of the same argument. When you left, somebody had to carry the torch. When you left, somebody had to continue to entertain the fans. When you was part time, somebody somebody else was on this road three hundred days a year, selling out. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the point. Like that's to me that's Cena's greatest greatest accomplishment. The fact that he was he was not only relevant. But he was a damn good face for we talking about minimum fifteen year stretch. Can we be honest and, though? Because I'm not. Yeah, that's a that's a fact. But we can we be honest though? And shout out to John Cena. I'm not saying he ain't a great whatever case may be. Because any day we play, was it, lackluster. I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even huh? going that far because he, he, he. Nah, you tweaking. You tweaking. I think it has. I think it has. I think it has. I think it has. We know that Johnson isn't the greatest in ring worker per se. I'm not even going to fall for that because at the end of the day, he has a lot of matches that are entertaining. It is what I mean. Hey, right. But let's be real about John Cena, though. Yes, he was the face of the company, but he was the face of the company when it was dark times. Yeah. I'm not giving you credit because, for example, Look at a guy like Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns have helped elevate the business back to being more mainstream than it ever been in in legit decades. But that's not so. Okay. Well, I mean, listen. Finish. You can say what you want. I'm gonna let, let him finish. I'm gonna let him finish. John C, listen, this is just a fact. When John Cena was the face of the company. People were not interested in wrestling like that. That's Fast not forward true. Now. That's hey, not true. come on, come okay. on. I know, Casual. Hold on. You gotta let him finish, okay. man. Okay. 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 Let him finish. I'm just. I'm just telling you what it is, bro. Like, for example, this past WrestleMania, John Cena has never been a part of WrestleMania this big or this whatever. You can say, listen, I'm not shout out to John Cena though. I'm not saying anything. I'm just I'm not saying I'm not discrediting what he's done, but Roman Reigns, for example, somebody like Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns did more in four years than John Cena did 15 years. These are just facts. Oh wow! Like you talking about this, this marketing? This is this we're talking about crazy. we're talking about we're talking about let them land the plane. Let them land the plane because out, because, because listen, if, like I said, like it or not, though John Cena, people did not like a lot of people didn't like John Cena. A lot of people didn't like John as the face at all the faces. Whoever been especially you talking about WWE per se, he was the most unlike person in WWE history. Oh okay, all right. so, yeah okay yeah. He, uh, I'm just saying finish, I'm let him finish. Him. Dude, just let us know what you do. Let us know what you do. So, like when, he, when, he, when, like I said, I'm just, I'm just telling. I mean, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm lying, I'm flying. Like I'm just, listen, I'm not. You can have Josh however you want to rank him at, but that's just a, like that's just that's the situation. Right hey, 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 hold on, casual, <laughs> casual. I'm about, casual. I just, I just close line true. Yeah, look, we on, both on, on the ground. Hold on, hold on, Brandon. <laughs> I just close my two. We no, both want to I don't choose you too. I don't choose you. I don't choose you. Let me set this up. So don't choose. Let me set. I'm true. Let me know. Let me set this up. I just close my two. We both on the ground. I'm exhausted. True and his tag team partner been kicking my ass. But I finally get this break. I'm crawling. The crowd is yelling. Casual. Come on, bro. True. Let me land it. True. Let me land it. True. Casual's going eight shit on the apron. 
getting the crowd hype, going up and down on the ropes, reaching, reaching. And then finally, finally, attacking me. What do you think? Okay, so first off, um, you just lied. Um, <laughs> so, so WWE during like the early 2000s was at its peak during the Attitude Era. That was during The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. During my time, yes, that was my time when John Cena took over the WWE, there were still heavily, heavily watched. They were Monday Night Raw was still pulling ratings so much that USA Network renewed their contract before it was even over because they already knew it was going to do numbers. So that's one. Two. USA Network when like John, that, but... it was doing numbers. Two, oh, don't shoot, don't shoot, when John Cena, when John Cena started taking over, and the, like this is why John Cena is my goal. When John Cena finally took over. Triple H had just finished his world heavyweight dominate, uh, dominating run. He had a hamstring injury, so he was out. The Undertaker had a back issue, so he was out. The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin were gone. Brock Lesnar quit. They had no stars outside of him and Batista. And so Batista went to SmackDown, and John Cena, when he won the WWE Championship, he came to Monday Night Raw. The reason why he came to Monday Night Raw, anybody that watches WWE, Typically, Monday, no, Monday Night Raw is their A show. So anybody they choose to be the face of Monday Night Raw is the guy that they're going forward with. And John Cena was the guy they selected. Fast forward to 2000, uh, I think it was 2008 or 2009. By the time he gave up the WWE Championship, uh, like uh, the cha WWE Championship chase that he was on, and he went to putting over other talents, WWE was solidified in a case that he didn't even have to show up on Monday Night Raw on a consistent basis as he did anymore. And they were still going to do numbers just because of John Cena's merchandise uh, sales that ended up making fans so like in love. Oh my. But he went on too casual. Did he break up? Did he hold, break on, up? hold on, hold on, real quick. Say a little bit again. Go back a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go back like 30 seconds. Sorry. And by the yeah, way, yeah, W too. Yeah, sorry, y'all there. You good, you good, you good. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 By the by the time 2008, 2009 came around and Randy Orton had already elevated, Undertaker was back, Triple H was was back. John Cena didn't even have to show up anymore, and they were still doing numbers because of the ticket sales that he did prior that had the fan base so in love with Monday Night Raw. So quite literally, John Cena was the face of the children of my era. That's what John Cena meant. If you, I understand you're older than me, so that's probably why you don't really feel it. But when we were, when I was younger, John Cena. Nah, was I feel everything. I'm 20, 20, I'm 28, bro. Like, no, nah, we, 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 we all, we all, we all the same age. But you, but you, let it, let it, let it, let it, let it, let it. John Cena was to to the kids of my generation. John Cena was everything when it came to WWE because he was the face of fight, persevering, respect, loyalty. That's why he changed his notion to being more of a kid friendly, um, being more of a kid friendly uh, face. And so that that like that's why John Cena has a case for being goat. Now to Brandon's uh, uh, to what Brandon asked, no, he is not a uh, he is not a consensus goat. There's plenty of goats in WWE. You could go Stone Cold Steve Austin for the similar reasons that you would go for John Cena. Mm -hmm. You could go with Shawn Michaels if you if you want to go for an entertaining factor as far as one of the more entertaining wrestlers we've ever seen. You could go with Kurt Angle just off of pure wrestling. Like there's so many people you could go off of and call them to go. Hell, you could go with The Undertaker for longevity alone. But the reason why John Cena has a case for being the GOAT because he, when it came down to a time where nobody else was available, and some of the people that they wanted to go with were still underdeveloped. Randy Orton, Edge, they wanted to ride with, but Edge was still Edge was still coming back from his ACL injury, and Randy Orton was acting like a fucking five-year-old in a 25-year-old body. John Cena was the only guy that they had, and he not only delivered, he over-delivered. And to this point that he wasn't a good wrestler, 
Nigga, by the time we got to 2006, them, he ain't a good wrestler arguments went out the window. He put on bangers with Kurt Angle. He put on a banger with Chris Jericho, Christian. And even if those don't impress you because those are some of the best wrestlers that that year right, had to exactly, offer. Exactly. Even if even if you want to say that that's not that impressive. Fast forward to 2007, he put on a banger with Umaga. They didn't expect that to be as good of a wrestling match as it did. And he put on a banger. Uh, like a four or five star match with the great Kali. I'll check to uh, find out. I think it was a four star match with the great Kali. Everybody thought that was going to be the sleeper of the whole pay per view at, at Extreme Rules. He did that. Hey, hey, so, Cash, like, you, you can't argue. Can't you can't argue these things about John Cena. Hey, Cash, can I check back in real quick? I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. hey, Ralph, 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 my nigga, Ralph, my nigga, damn, bro. Here, 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 here. Listen, oh, wow. Listen, 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 there you go. You tagged in. Man, so here's the thing, too. Bro, the amount of storylines, the amount of cat, the amount of storylines that John Cena had, like, too, like, come on, bro. Like, no cap. He's one of the most versatile. Um, sort of the narrative partners that we ever seen too. And all the big names he did, he had some type of um storyline against or with Edge. The, I can't believe Casual forgot to bring up Edge a lot. Edge and, and John Cena was still rolling through that time, true. Don't do that. Not to mention his feuds with Big Show, Triple H, Shawn Michaels. Like he had all that. Kurt, like you mentioned, you mentioned Kurt Angle, you mentioned Christian. Like he had all that. He had and JBL, of course, the nigga who put him over. Like, like to, to say to say he 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 didn't he's the worst face out of that's a purpose thing. But to say he's not all those things you said as far as like not that I good of a was no things, but but my whole thing is though, if you compare him to the no, other but, but shoot, race, shoot, let me let me, sure, let me finish. Let me sure. let me finish. That's what I'm saying. When you do compare to all of our greats, his longevity is up there. He has multiple, multiple classic ma matches, multiple headlining pay per views. He's good at promotion. No, I'm not going to, I'm not saying the N word thing. He's good at promotion. He's also, and most importantly, casually describe his whole impact. True, that's our, that's part of our generation, nigga. We was, we were still, we were still on bikes around that. We were still running puppies and shit, nigga. He's not. You don't lie. Hold on, 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 hold on. Y'all let me finish what I say. Y'all let me finish what I say. Y'all let me finish what I We like you. We can't lie, bro. Like he was the he was on the face on the video games, the action figures. Like I remember the rollout towards our rust. He did, nigga. I remember that shit. You remember that shit, right? So it wasn't just like like. So I'm saying compared to other bricks, right? Even when compared to other bricks, he has longevity. He has the impact. Damn sure have the sales. He definitely has the classic moments. Perfect. So if, if, if it's someone, if, it's, if a guy like Casual, I'm going to just land it here. So if a guy like Casual, have him as the GOAT, or anybody have him like top five, top ten, that's not crazy at all. I don't think it's crazy him being top five or top ten. I think it's crazy calling him the GOAT because that's because he's a company man. Just because he stayed and he was a company man, and, and we're gonna automatically call him the goat because he was a company man. I'm not denying true, everything you said about true, like, like technically, not, technically, not all the faces, no matter who they were, they were to some not, degree to a company true. man. That's not no, there was there's a stage true. in their degree. That's no, that's true. a fact. There was a there's a partner, <laughs> they were company men. Even Stone Cold before he broke out was a company dude before. Like he we stopped like saying you know, Stone Cold when Stone Cold when Hulk Hogan didn't like some shit, bro. He listen, bro. We ain't doing that, bro. Like, no, that's listen, the point. No, no. The point is true. The point is true. Part of their run, they were company men at some point. All of them were. Uh, it, all every face that you can think of at some point, they were company men. You have to wait. Hold on. Well, let me say this. Let me say this real quick. Let me say this real quick. Hold on, hold on. My whole thing is. True, you have to put work in the company for you to even be considered let's put, one of the greatest. But, let's, yeah, be but let's, let's talk about work. Okay, Hold on, listen, let, let, let me speak out the truth. True, tag me in. Let, let's, let's, about it, but here's the thing about putting in work, though. Just because you were <laughs> there, or whatever. And granted, I'm I respect John Cena for what he did. I, re, I don't think everybody respects John Cena for what he did, but let's keep it real, though. I don't. When, when, he, when, he, when he was, when he was <laughs> doing that. When he was a quote the face of the guy, the wrestling business as a whole was in a down spot, bro. It was in a dry, it was a dry spot. So that's why if that I don't have I can't have John Cena over dudes like Hulk Hogan, 
dudes like The Rock or Stone. Two, why two? Let me. Hold on, 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 that's what I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out what the down spot you're referring to. The down spot. The down spot. In, in, in what years? What years? What's the window? When it come, I'm talking about the the John Cena. The John Cena run he had with the face. It was a down spot, bro. Like let's not. Act Nick, like there's no way. Shoot, there's no. Shoot, there's no way to hold come, the company spiral for 15 come years, dog. That's impossible. Come on. That's, come on. that's, that's not true. true. That's not true. true. First of all, let's make. I'm gonna. Hey, listen, hey, Ralph, you gotta fix your mic. Hold on. Hold on. Ralph, you gotta fix your mic. You I'm a wrestling. I'm a wrestling fan for real. The whole professional wrestling industry was in a down spot. It wasn't just WWE. WWE is like, listen, WWE ain't going to go nowhere. I'm at the biggest cup in the world. But you, what are you, what are you clear. referring to? Clear. What years are you referring to? That's what I'm asking. I'm, I'm going through the years. Run, oh, I'm going to Johnson and Ryan. Now, that's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. Oh, no, the the, the 15 years. Tag me in. No, no, I got you. The 15 right, years that Cena was going through. You go, you go, rebrand. Niggas were seven. I'm looking at the numbers right now. I'm looking at the numbers right now. Hold on, sturdy, real quick, right? This so is you trying to tell me his run, he was doing more numbers. Here's the thing. Ratings, he wasn't doing more ratings. The PG era, the PG era, in the PG era, you, you go rebranding because this, this is crazy. Nah, saying real that, real like, quick, I just want to say this. I'm not going to be long when that I promise. But y'all want to talk about what Cena did, right? When 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 he was the face of the – he had to come PG in and be the face of it. Let's, hold on. Let's talk about what Stone Cold did, right? Because Stone Cold did it in an era where they were still competing with big companies. Who was the That's WWE true. competing with in the in the, in the the aggressive uh, – the, 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 TNA. The era the, on, right, bro. like TNA. TNA. TNA was fire, but T I'm not saying TNA wasn't good, but it wasn't really competing against WWE. Hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. Let me get my No, because it's on, remember, it's on a different day. No, remember, it's on a different day. That's why. It wasn't doing Nitro was doing. Nitro was on Mondays. Hold on, listen, let me get my shit real quick because Stone Cold did it in a time where Bret Hart and them niggas, well, I mean, he was a part of one of the, the bigger rivalries with Bret Hart. But once Bret Hart left the fucking the, the, the WWE, at the end of the day, the WWE was fucking struggling. They still had to compete with the WCW, ECW, whatever you want, and Stone Cold carried the company. Stone Cold came in, had better matches, yeah. had better rivalries. Wait, hold on, wait. I don't think, yeah, yeah. I don't think Brandon, yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't think Brandon knows, like, Brandon, do you know what you're just saying? What do you so you say? Wait, tell me, tell me. Wait, so wait, were they I, not competing I, I, with the WCW? No, 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 it's not. No, no, that. but you're you saying said, you, oh, said, you said you, it's after okay. Brandon, you said after Say Bret scary. Hart left. You said after Bret Hart left, they were struggling. No, they weren't. <laughs> they were crazy though. They were. Hold on. Are you kidding? No, he meant, hold, on. hold on, hold on. The point is no, this. No, no, the no. point is this though. They were in that. He meant. He meant. He meant. Yeah, he no, meant he okay. meant before. He's talking about the characters. The characters. Yeah, he's talking about, he's no, yeah, he's talking about the, before the actual the era, they were struggling. No, because even so 97 and shit, them niggas weren't like uh, no, the struggle ass cartoon no. era. No, they weren't. You that was 95 rebranding. I, yeah, I think he's talking about. Yeah, I think he's talking about. No, I, no, but I I think what you. Because I. Okay, the misconception that a lot of people have is that WWE was on this downward spiral after. Uh, after after Sean uh, after Bret Hart left, no, it was after Shawn Michaels left because he needed help. At, he needed help, yeah, and nice. the Undertaker nice. and the Undertaker the Undertaker had yet to become this phenom. That and they, he didn't, started they didn't to... have like many people that could actually. Yeah, have a good exactly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, but, but, but yeah. and so and so with Stone and so and so and so and so open up doors. It, go ahead. Like, absolutely. Yeah, right. yeah. And so and so. What happened was Stone Cold's 316 um, um, promo. King of, the, King of the Ring promo, yeah. Yes, yes. His King, his King of the Ring, what was that, 96? That was 96, right, Ralph? Yeah, that was 96. Uh, 90, yeah. That was 96? Yes. Yeah, that was yeah, 90s. 90s. Yeah, it was definitely mid-90s, definitely. Okay. Okay. Exactly. Okay. It happened 96. in the 90s. And so, After the so Madison happened, Square Garden incident with Triple H. Absolutely, yep. mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. and, so what, and, so what, uh, and so what happened was after he um, – after Stone Cold gave that promo, it put him on a different trajectory. Add that to the fact that Triple H had gotten in trouble for the whole situation. For the whole, yep, the with curtain uh, call, Ke for the Kevin whole curtain Nash call. Yes. Yeah. And so there was literally nobody else that WWE trusted at the time because The Rock hadn't developed into what we ultimately saw. And yeah. so Stone Cold had to basically, you're absolutely right, he had to put on a clinic. He had, 
Absolutely. He had to put on a clinic like John Cena did in the uh, in the uh, in the mid 2000s. With, with but casual. my but the, the part that I, the part where I differ with people that have that feeling for towards Stone Cold Steve Austin is I wasn't there to fully feel the emotion. WWE, okay. it, see, okay. when we're talking NBA, when we're talking NBA or we're talking NFL, you don't need that much emotion to be able to go back and look up facts. There's facts there for you to form an opinion. When it comes to WWE, the only facts you can go off of is watching the matches, watching the promos, watching the casual, character, casual. and forming let me ask you your a question. Team. Let me ask you a and question. I wasn't no, you can, hold on, hold on. you can go you can go with the numbers too. You can go with the pay per view vibes. You can go with the merchandise sales. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And let's not forget, and most importantly, most importantly, the video game sales too. Let let why we pretend the video game was a hidden during the time. I mean, that is true. Saying, you, had, you had no mercy. You had Russell Mania. You had Nitro. Right, but here's, yeah. but here's the, yeah, but yeah, but the, here's the, the thing, the, thing too, the though, about the numbers. That SmackDown versus yeah. Raw. SmackDown versus Raw. Right, yeah. but here's the thing. But here's the yeah. thing about the being a sure, fan man. and being reliving the moment. Like low key, SmackDown versus Raw was the first two K. Yeah. But here's I played GMO. That's just tough. But here's the thing, though. Nobody, but listen. But we're talking about. Here's the thing. Like, I was. I've been a wrestling fan for a long time. I'm talking about like. Be like I'm talking about before 2000. I was a toddler watching wrestle with my uncle. WCW, like I I was a big Sting fan, DDP fan. Like I I understood who Stone Cold was. Like at a young age, like a toddler, three years old, watching wrestling. Don't even know exactly, but I know Stone Cold. He getting a crazy reaction or whatever case may be. A four four or five years mm-hmm. old know who Stone Cold is like. We we gotta understand, and like I said, no disrespect. And I think I think everybody on this panel respect what John Cena did, right? No, no, I, no, we, we respect no, him don't. as a performer. No, I don't. Well, that's funny, but we respect him as a performer. For the most part, everybody here respect John Cena as a performer, though. But at the end of the day, we look at the, the top dudes that ever was in WWE. He ranks at the, he ranks at the bottom, bro. Like at the end of the day, when it comes to impact like you said before he, he didn't he didn't do more than hulk hogan i, I didn't live through that but let's not I, he didn't do more than hulk hogan just, it is what he did no hulk, hulk, hulk is, is not, nobody want to admit it like hulk hulk not, is not, objectively yeah objectively if hulk is not the goal he's he, number two objectively yeah, he went, he went WCW so, so that let me hulk, hulk, that's hulk hogan he did he john cena can't be over of course stone cold because stone cold changed he's not he's not over rock he's not over rock there's three dudes that he's definitely not over Definitely. And, it's and the cold, this is cold, hulk and rock. I'm, he just I'm not trust finish. I'm gonna let Ralph go. I'm gonna finish. Let Ralph go. You, you, of course, you got the rock, of course. And now, in that conversation, now, now a person that's over Johnson up for sure when it comes to especially come with the faces of the WWE is Roman Reigns. Roman, I Roman Reigns did the past four years. Roman, Roman Reigns did. But Roman Reigns did in the past four. Listen, I'm not even the biggest Roman oh, Reigns fan. I'm a fan of him. I ain't like I can't, super. I can't, we had to listen. Why do they? We have start, to respect. Start, why listen. do they lie on Roman, bro? Why do because they lie this on? is a whole, time on time on time on time on. Roman Reigns has have elevated WWE to getting back to being more mainstream as it been in years. These are facts, bro. Like this is how great oh Roman Reigns was. God. Roman Reigns was so mm-hmm. cold. This is that he elevated his family and friends to get in better spots and getting better money. Where did Johnson that's ever not, do that's that? Not but nigga, you ain't got no family. Oh, well, but true. Let me, yeah, let me I don't want to hear that. We talk, I said no, no, family. No, no, no. This bro. honest question. No, this is honest question. No, this real quick. This this um this honest question. Nah, you we ready to tweet it? But hold on, we listen. Y'all are wild, but here's the thing. That's in regards wild. to, I don't know, but, but you, this is an honest question. How much do you factor in having a promoter in regards to, to wrestlers? Like, because that, I will say that, like, you talking about Paul Heyman? Like, yeah, yeah, that's he's a fact. A y'all, y'all, he's a goat, he's a goat this, hold on, you talking about, hold on, you talking about Paul Heyman? No, Paul Heyman. no, 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 no Paul Heyman. what I'm saying, no, that's why, no, true, that's why I asked you whether. Will, whether you want to admit it or not, he did help him. That's what I'm asking. How much do you factor that in? Nobody's saying he guys, did. Nobody's saying oh, he oh, 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 I'm about to finish it. I'm about to finish it. I didn't say true. That's why you got to let me finish before you react. Um, that's It's just a basic question. No judgment question. No leading question. How much do you factor in having a promoter? Because sir, guys did have that at some point during the career. Don't mean it affected their overall greatness. The Hart family had a promoter. Undertaker had a promoter. 
it's not a bad thing to have a promoter. I'm I'm just saying how much you factor that in. That's all. That's all. Well, here's, shout out to Paul Homie, a legend in the business, right? Even a legend before he even worked with Roman Reigns, right? Um, I understand what Farmer did for the business. But Paul Heyman, as an on-screen talent, has never been as big he was before he was got with Roman Reigns. This is the what? biggest okay, when it comes yeah, to yeah, on-screen yeah, talent. Yeah, I said, hold on, let me make this clear. Let me make this clear. I said the on-screen talent. Paul said it is, himself. Paul Heyman, Paul Heyman has never. We understand who Paul Heyman is as a creative behind the scenes, right? I never. Let's let's me be that. I'm making this clear. I'm separate. There's different between him as a creative when it comes to behind the scenes and an on-screen talent. When it comes to as an on-screen talent, Paul Heyman has never been as big as he ever was with Roman Reigns, right? And there's the thing about Roman Reigns, That's though. And granted, these are so you know, Roman Reigns barely wrestles. That's an ignorant take because at the end of the day, though, the numbers prove itself. Then this is a, the, the biggest WrestleMania That's main event of all. Take. That's a fact. He barely wrestled. This shit was not bigger. Okay, than the point. This with with that being said, hold team. on. With that being said, he and, and guess what though? He's a high. Guess what? He made more money than John Cena. He just yeah. man got a Jordan brand deal. Let me you're making you're making you're making inflation points. It's a different. It's not an inflation though. point. The point is that let's, bro, the Roman Reigns have elevated to the business game, going back to mainstream. Let's not make it. Let's be real. It was a point of time that talking wrestling as a DOS wasn't even cool. No, wasn't even cool. Let's not let's That's not let's not That's play this fact. game, y'all. Oh. Let's not you play this game. So Roman Reigns played a part in that signal, though. That's no, not we did not. This is why you hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, Ralph, let, let Ralph cook real quick. Let, 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 let Ralph go. Let Ralph cook. This, 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 you know he is. You know hey, he is. This is why. Mike, too, bro. Your shit sound low a little bit, bro. Yeah, you got it. You low. Hold on. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see. So, man. I got you, Ralph. I got you, Ralph. No, no. Ralph, Ralph is too loud and casual too low. Casual mic is too low. Oh, good luck. Ralph is cool. Yeah. You good now. You good. You good. You good, Ralph. Please, I'm not. This is why you cook. I mean, this is why you capping casual, bro. My sister ain't, and, and a lot of my friends ain't watched wrestling in mm -hmm. how many years? I say, since like the Attitude Era. Fuck the root of aggression. They didn't give a fuck about that. And then Roman Reigns come back with his new gimmick. He got all the women panties wet. Better? All the dudes want to be him. Nah, still low. Now, now, now. Mm -hmm. and, and also, John Cena uh, turned. Your mic a little bit, bro. All uh, right. Oh, is he better now? Is he better now? I love, I love Ralph. Yeah, yeah he, I love go, Ralph. he good. He good. Casual talking, y'all. We gotta let Casual okay. talk because his okay. mic lower than everybody else. But go ahead, uh, Ralph. Finish. And and then John Cena era turned the way teenagers and grown adult men. He had kid fans. Don't get it messed up. Roman has adult fans, women, men, and and the elderly. Nigga, what? And children. <laughs> let, 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 I'm not stopping him. I'm not stopping him. He cooking. He cooking. Go. John Cena do not, did, He turned us away, bro. I stopped watching wrestling after Randy Orton got in trouble the last time, bro. This, first of all, just like Triple H get, uh, got in trouble and, 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 and Stone Cold took his slot, said, John Cena, people forgot John Cena was about to get fired. And and Stephen McMahon heard him rapping on the tour, on the bus and say, "Do that next week," and that's when he did the another ice thing on Christmas. I mean, on on Halloween, bro. He was oh, yeah. about to get fired. I, and, then, I, I know. and then let's go back to that. If it was for Stephanie, it would be no John Cena. First of all, yeah, Cena did. Was, Cena did call Roman to go too. Yeah, he, 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 he had to pipe her down. It, it happens, man. You yeah, know. Is that, then, be, is that supposed to be a allegedly, 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 And probably. then, like, going back to the fan thing, bro, he, bro, Randy Orton got in trouble so many times. That was his spot, bro. That's why they had to move him to Raw with Triple H and, and Ric Flair. SmackDown was supposed to be him because The Rock was supposed to come back and he was supposed to do the generation versus generation thing. The family, the bloodline storyline type thing was supposed to have been Randy, bloodline, Cowboy Orton, and his grandfather and his uncle versus Rock and his his uh and his family. And who? And who? Who, Rakishi? who Rakishi? No, I'm talking about the family dynamic. Generation versus generation, second generation, I mean third generation stars. I'm yeah, not they, talking about that in the Ralph family. Was, Ralph was Ralph was fitting. Like they, they was about to do like this. It was about to do like this all 
I, like this basically like this battle royale between multiple generations of the family, the Orens, the the the, the, the Diviases, the um, the the Johnsons. Like they was they was about they was about to do all that. Why you think Rock came yeah. back his last yeah. time team with Mick Foley to take he, on Evolution? But with me, Ralph, I, I just want to give perspective on this film. Like, I stopped watching wrestling like around the time Brock came back the second time, like around almost three months after that. What you know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, like, cause I'm, I remember, I'm not gonna cap. I was, I was watching this shit. I'm like, this shit ain't hit no more, bro. But then Brock came back. I'm like, all right, man, cause that's when the the MMA shit was real. I'm like, all right, man, you know, give it, give it three more months. Long, he won the title, lost the title. I'm like, fuck this shit. So, but the point is, prior, huh, but prior to that, yeah, I like so many like it, y'all don't even know. So what Ralph was saying is right. Ralph was saying is right. Like, but I, I noticed we just have different criteria on how we rank wrestlers, and that's why I'm gonna ask you, Ralph, after you finish, how do you? What's your criteria? How you rank? Um, um, do you know the greats? Okay, but real quick, Sturdy, you yeah. that era that you uh you didn't like. That was called the Super Cena era. This nigga was burying everyone. <laughs> no, no, Ralph, no, bro, Ralph. If you remember home, but Ralph, if you remember too, remember between, especially from 2010, between from no, from 2010 to 2012. If you remember, Ralph, the other stars was getting injured or getting in trouble, like you mentioned. Edge got injured. Fucking Triple H was injured. Like HBK was injured. Fucking um, and then Batista, he was still doing his thing, but. That that's the only thing that like my point is Ralph. Everyone needs a counterpart. Roman Reigns had good counterparts to help big him up. Same thing for Cole. Same thing for for Rock. For everybody. I do. That's the thing with Cena. There the reason why there was certain dips. I don't think it was because of Cena. It's because other dudes were getting in trouble, getting hurt too. Yeah, but they almost didn't come back. And when they, they were, did, they also they, they also didn't push. They also didn't push nobody either, though. They didn't push nobody either, though. Like, bro, like, but like, don't say Ralph, Ralph and True. Like, we can't cap. Remember, y'all, y'all remember, y'all remember that rated R versus y'all remember the Cena versus rated R era. Y'all remember that shit, the rated R era. That shit was fine. True, true, true. In two thousand seven, who was there to who was there to 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 push? What you what you mean? Um, it, was a, it was a lot. Of no, they, they, no, they had they had some. They had a lot of people. A lot of people. No, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying, who even was, the guys like there, free, free, free. No, 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 they, no, 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 no. Who was there to? Who was there? Bro, to, Daniel Bryan left like eighty times because of John Cena, bro. Stop it. And that and that miss. In two thousand seven. What you mean? He came no, there no, in like two thousand. In two thousand seven, you still had you still had Orton, you still had Chris, you still had Edge, you still had no, you had Jericho, you had. You yeah, had yeah, Jericho, Jericho. Jericho. MVP. Jericho. Stop it. We had people to Jericho. push. Jericho. No, 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 Ralph, Ralph. We talking about, we talking about, we talking about, we talking about, we talking about guys like you know that could be Ovin potential faces. What do you mean? Like, MVP, MVP could have been a, cha- a world champion, bro. Stop it. Who? He could. All Ralph, right. He could have been, but like, come on, bro. Man, we, we, all I'm saying, the point, we had guys, bro. Stop it. No, I, that's what I'm saying. Like in 2007, there was a lot of guys, like. Shawn well, Michaels came back, like Kurt Angle still there. Like 2007, they had a lot of people they could push, Kevin. That's what I'm saying. All right, but let me and let me piggyback on that too because the point is though, let's be Renette Johnson. Let me tell you this game real quick. I'm gonna get. I'm, let me go ahead. Do story. your thing, brother. Because nigga, because you know, Nick, and y'all, and some of y'all, some may not know this story. And it's what why he said J- Johnson was was burying people, and he probably regretted. I'm not. And the next, I don't know if y'all remember a group called the Nexus. It was a group called the Nexus. And they was like the hottest thing. They was the oh, hottest man. heel group in the company. And then they had a big match. What? What? I forgot what pay per view was it. Bragging rights was it? Bragging rights. I don't know. I forgot oh, what the pay per view was. Either that or Survivor Series. One of them. Survivor Series. Their first official. Hold on. Their first official match or their first, or their debut. No, they no. They had a big no, match. Where I remember no, with John Cena. Person. It was John no, Cena. I know. Chris it was John Cena. Yeah, it was. Yeah, versus all the niggas. That's what I'm saying. I think it was Survivor Series on the team. Yeah, it was Survivor Series. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. If, if you told me their first yeah. official match was Survivor Series, but they debuted with a no. different pay per view. Yeah, yeah, it was. They were. They. I think Bret Hart was on John Cena team and everything. Case may be John Cena was on the team and and um. John. Cena, they, it was and they, John and, they, and John Cena Hart and John Cena won and John Cena buried him and won. He was the last man standing. Remember. <laughs> 
If he was the no, last no, man I'm standing. Not, he buried him in one. Not, and then, not, Kurt, bro, he I'm beat not, like six not, different not, people, like true said. Let me finish the story. Let me finish the story. Super, super Cena era. Beforehand, hold on, because before that, before the match, they because they knew to finish before the match. Chris Jericho and Edge told him, "Listen, let them, bro. There's no reason for you to win. There's no reason for you to win the match." And then afterwards, when Johnson buried him, Johnson said, "Y'all was right." Yeah, we had dogs. Like, this too. is why. Like, come on, like John Cena, and like, and let's be real. And, and, and anybody want to use it? And that, I'm, I'm, I'm already a step ahead. And anybody want to use the fact that he put RVD over? He didn't put technically he didn't put RVD over. If they would have, if he would have won that match, they would have fucked. They would have riot. They would have riot. It would been a. It would have been. Yeah, that's, 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 that's ECW, brother. brother. That's ECW, brother. That's you can't do that to RVD. It was, but but yeah, in that, it, 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 it was ECW arena. The original John. That would have. I mean, Manhattan Center. John Cena would not. That's Manhattan Center, but still. But it was already John Cena that RVD was winning. Yeah, because it was a dangerous environment. It was a dangerous environment. It's like, listen, hey, it was listen. Yeah, why you think even Cena had to get out of here Sunday? Right, but even but even fucked up though. But even even during the Super Cena era, whatever case may be, right? Even when you look at all the time he lost. Every time he lost, it wasn't clean, and it was always excused. I remember, remember Daniel Bryan beat what? Johnson at SummerSlam. He jumped with Johnson. Hold on, that's a fact. So you notice the story. Daniel Bryan Listen. beat him straight that's up. What? Don't don't use Daniel. Bryan. Hold up, but guess what he did? But guess what Johnson had did? Guess what Johnson had did to devalue that win? The next night, he saw my my elbow was messed up and all that. Case my I got to take time. Nigga, his my elbow, elbow was had a up. baseball. He lost. Why are you saying that? He lost. He lost to CM Punk. He lost to CM Punk. Really? He lost to CM Punk. Right no, no, he did not. He's, like he's always fucking talking when he's about to lose, yo. Exactly. One, two, three, he's talking. Like, what are we talking about? Bro, bro, bro. CM Punk literally, Chris, Chris literally came out and literally said, the plan, the we, we already knew the plan was for me to win, but I want to walk out that way, Chicago, because contract negotiations. I'm, he, talking that that I'm talking about every time Cena lose, he always talking during the match, bro. Meaning, watch his mouth moving. He yeah, boxes the match all the time. They all, they all, they all, they all, no, they yeah, don't all do that. No, they don't all do that. I've been there. I, I went there like 25 wrestling shows, and I was wrestling rapidly. I never seen nobody do that much as him, bro. Stop it. Go now, look at all the time he lose. I got you. He's a boxer, bro. Hold on, my fault. Let me. I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna address this comment real quick. I say true. Everything you criticize Cena for, you can say the same thing for Hogan, though. Yeah, agree. Hogan get criticized that. Listen, Hogan wasn't perfect either, though. But I, I tell you this, though. Yeah, everybody got their faults. Hogan, everybody. That's, everybody. That's a fact. That's a, that's a fact. Well, Hogan, but here's the well. difference. No, they right, But here's the well. difference between. Hold up. But here's the difference between Hogan and John Cena. Hogan was a bigger draw. The simple he uh, he blew the bigger draw. As simple as that. Yeah. It is what it no, is. No, I said I said already. Man, like, Hogan, Hogan, man, Hogan, man was, Hogan not man, one. He too. Man, the man was in a Rocky movie before. Hold, he was in a Rocky movie before he was in the WWE. That's how big he he was in the Rocky movie before he was, he was in the WWE. He was in AEW before that. And, uh, and also, AWA, I mean, AWA. Michael Mania, Michael Mania, Michael Jackson, yeah, Michael Jordan. Like, 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 like what do you mean? Right, he's one. He's on that Mount Mushroom uh, pop was, culture back then. And they, I don't. Was, I, all, was, all he, I, he was. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He was. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just want to say this to give uh, why I don't have why I don't have Hogan top five. I wasn't there to like truly know what he did in the eighties and the nineties. All I know Hogan for is the 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 the, the backstage conflicts that he had in WWE. And so that's why I don't have him that high. But I do, from what I do hear as how great he was in the 80s and 90s and how he did, he was basically everything to the WWE. Him and Andre the Giant, don't, that's the reason why they're top 10. They're just not. Shit, throw Randy high. Savage in there too. Uh, Randy, 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 time, Randy Savage. Mm -hmm. Randy Savage was. Randy, Randy Savage deserves to be. I'm going to go over in my top, five, uh, top 10. Randy Savage is up there. Top he top is this much. Nah, Randy, uh, Randy Savage didn't do. Randy Savage did not. He did, he didn't. He didn't have to carry as much of a load of the WWE as Andre the Giant and and Hulk Hogan. That was the Andre the Giant was done when he got the WWE. He didn't carry nothing, bro. Stop it. I mean, Hulk Hogan wasn't let him. Man was a fit. Macho Man was official, though. Macho Man was official. Though. I'm talking about. Don't say he was involved, right but like you know, top ten. You know what I mean? 
Let me agree. Like, Russell Westbrook. Andre Giant is yeah, not playing with him, bro. Bodo, I'm gonna say this though. I'm not mad. It's my dude. Bodo, I'm not mad. It's my dude. Got Macho Man top ten though. I'm not. I'm not gonna be mad if I got Macho Man top ten. It's Macho Man Randy Savage. He's a. I mean. I mean, oh yeah. Though. Look, you got LA oh, Knight still in his gimmick. Uh, true. What's up, hey, here, man? He's on the influence. I mean, the influence. You got the module. I mean, listen, man. A lot of niggas been off. A lot of niggas been off macho, macho man style throughout the decades, dog. We talking about? Yeah, what yeah. just now? Hell, hell. You want to? You want to know something? You want to know a little something? I just watch The Rock. The Rock did macho man style a little bit too. Like it's okay. It's okay no, he didn't. That, that was really him though. See, nah. see, like the Ro hold on, like the Roman complex, like they said, they had to eat shit. They had no backstage uh authority, so they had to do the little sucker and sucker tash and that Peter Myvia shit. But as soon as they got to be yeah. they self, right? You get to right. see the real them. Like what are we he talking about, Muhammad bro? Ali, Dusty Rhodes. Yeah, the Rock is what like Muhammad Dusty Ali Rose. for real. Dusty Rose, I'm not mad. I don't. Dusty Rose not in my top ten, but if you have him in your top he's ten, I'm there. not mad. That Dusty was no, he's a fucking son, bro. No, Stop it. No, the best promo. Listen, you don't. Ever. You gotta know the work. You gotta know the work of Dusty Rose to even listen. It, I'm not saying, okay. okay. I mean, bro. I watch his documentary, bro. Don't press <laughs> about Rose family, dog. Like I, I know saying, saying, he did a lot of shit. He I, don't, I, don't, you know what I'm saying? Like that. what I'm saying. We didn't. We didn't get to the top ten because, like, because, like. When we get to the top ten, you understand there's a lot of Nick, there's so many great fucking wrestlers. So oh, many great fucking wrestlers, some, though. And and another thing, there's some people that people there's some wrestlers that people just weren't there to experience. Like we were saying in the group chat, I I, I forget who asked us, Brandon, why we didn't have Paul Hogan in our top ten. We like, bro, we didn't get to see him. Like, why would we put somebody that we didn't get to see Not, in the top ten? Hold on, but Brie Brandon don't got rock in the top ten is crazy though. That's kind of yeah, Paul Hogan in the top ten. You and Brie Brandon, you spared the rock. Like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. That's crazy as fuck. Who's your top ten in the way? I think Bree Brandon like me. His mom liked the rock. Who my top? That's why who, I ain't like the rock. That's crazy. Who's That's some hating shit. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all can can y'all hear me? Yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah. So listen. So the rock is not top ten. Um. Are you saying <laughs> on that? Listen, That's listen, listen. That's hold on, listen. Thing. Let him the cook. My favorite. The rock was my favorite wrestler growing up, but he's not top ten. Like, what was his peak? What was what was the rock's like, what was his best years? 97 to 1999. 1999. You're talking about, yeah, 97 to 2001. Yeah, if you want to be Yeah, 97 to 2001. Crazy. I, I don't, that, that whole thing was wild. I, I don't you think 97? What is you, the you, pro, I, I don't, you think the promo game? Hold on. We're talking about the wrestling to the promo games. Like, 97, 90, 97 to 98 was like Nation of Domination, wasn't it? Let it finish. Let it finish. Let it finish. Yeah, 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 it was. How okay, how many? So, how many years was The Rock really? The best guy in the in the league. I mean, in the, in the industry. It was a co face. It was a co face. Was him, he had to share. Now when Hulk Hogan was, was hurt, when Hulk Hogan, no, I said when Stone Cold was hurt in two thousand, was in two was two thousand. Yeah, that's the thing. Year. When he that was his hold on, so that was his best year, right? So if two thousand was his best year, how long after his best year was he like a, a part time nigga, not in the fucking the uh, the that was after the old two. That was after old two. He was still he was still. Yeah, bro, what are you talking about? He was still no, full time. He jobbed the, the Brock Lesnar, bro, early in his career. Listen, pause, listen, listen. Can we listen, pause? Listen, pause, can we pause listen, hold on, hold on. Can we pause the, the part time? Y'all got to stop using part time. To really yeah, y'all want these dudes to get hurt, bro. No, the nigga like, was doing part time. Bro. The nigga was doing part time. Movies, part time was like, like you do like maybe one or two. Let, it, let, let him finish, y'all. Hold on, hold on. Let him finish. Real quick. So what I'm saying is his best year was to me. To me, it was 2000. After that, he had about what one or two more years in him where he was that guy. After that, he disappeared. So if okay. I look at my top, that's 10, not I look at true. Other, hold on, listen. If I look at other wrestlers, there are, there are ten guys I would put over the Rock. Go ahead, name them. That's the dude name really, him. real quick. He literally faced oh, Hogan no, no, no. in a two year span, bro. He was not part time. He literally faced Hogan twice in a two year span. Let us finish. Let's finish. So, so are, am, I, am I gonna be able to get my top ten? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I so my, my top ten. And let him, let him finish, bro. Like, don't do not interrupt his nigga. My top ten, all time: Undertaker, Stone Cold, Triple H, Kurt Angle, Chris Jericho, Chris Benoit, Jeff Hardy, Kane, Booker oh. T, RVD. That's my top ten. You got Kane in your top you, ten. You ain't finished, bro. You ain't finished. That was a top ten. 
That was ten. No, that wasn't more. ten. I could that wasn't ten. That was ten. That one was great. Undertaker, Stone Cold, okay. Triple H, Kurt Angle, Chris Jericho, mm-hmm. Chris Benoit, Jeff Hardy, Kane, Booker T, RVD. Do you want to put John Cena in this shit? That's it. That's it. Jeff Hardy, Booker T, and Kane in the Rock is insane. That's insane, bro. Hold on, listen. We could put that, Edge over the That's there. insane. No. No. This nigga put Edge over the Rock. I'm over the edge. Wait, that Wait, bitch. Edge was never the best wrestler. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me just say this. Let me say hold this. Let me say this. But we're talking. But we're talking about. <coughs> so you said Kane, my nigga. Hold on. What listen, one Kane on. had that was any one type of the rock? Hold on, Kane. No, I'm not saying. Hold on, two. I'm not saying Kane is top top ten, but Kane is up there too. He top fifteen, top twenty. Kane. Kane ain't no top fifteen. What the fuck we talking about? I would top 20. That's why I correct myself. I said top 20. He, he up there. Kane ain't top 25. Hold on, listen. Real quick. 25 characters, but not. Yo, hold on. Can I just finish this? One of the greatest oh, yeah. characters in wrestling history is Kane. You niggas, he literally not, 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 not one of the Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Hold on. He's a great. Hold, what do you mean by he won? Okay, the Rock not one of the best. He's about to get to it. He's about to get to it. He's about to get to it, Drew. So hold on. Even if we. By the way, people, this is not going to happen on the crossover. We got models. No, this, this but, either. Happen, but listen, we love wrestling, so this should this how it's going to be. So at a time when Kane came into the industry, he actually saved the Undertaker a little bit. If you really want to get into it, because at that time they, there was nobody that they could really put up against the Undertaker. So when the Kane came into the uh, when they finally found the Kane character, that actually helped the Undertaker. So now, when I'm talking about my favorite wrestlers all time, is actually people that can get down in the ring for real, not just on a promo, it's not just on who sold the most shirts. Let them finish through. Hold on, listen, because yeah. if we want to, so if y'all want to, we can sit up here today and do our uh, your top five best promo wrestlers, your top five technical in ring wrestlers, and the Rock. I mean, Rock would be top ten in in, in, in ring, but he wouldn't. I mean, in promo too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you, hold, what on, you hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, Kane was like a motherfucker. You cooking, rebranded? Keep cooking. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Rob, 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 Rob. He, 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 he,
Corey's got got to go with Stone Cold. Sting. Who that? What did I say? That's that's a, that's five. That's five right there. Koshuka Okada from New Japan Pro Wrestling. Go look him up. He's okay. he's he's he's, from, he's one of the best Japanese wrestlers ever. Period. He, go look him up. He's phenomenal. Um, Rey Mysterio. <laughs> Kenny Omega. What? I need one more. Let him finish. That's his favorite, bro. That's, I think you need two more, right? Yeah, yeah, you need two more. He needs two more. Two more. Two more. Um. And it wasn't a bad. It wasn't a bad word, by the way. I, I, I was, It was a pleasant surprise. Undertaker. Damn. Yeah, nigga, one more. Just it, just one. I don't want. I don't want to hear no honorable mentions. I don't hear. I'm thinking about this person. The next person you say, Bro, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna spot. do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this to show people because I want to be like. I want to show love. Sad boo. No, nigga. Oh, there you go. That's, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. You said that's a that's a good pick. I got technically. I got more than that. I got if I no no no. I don't have to need, we cut it off by ten. That's all. It's a ten person limit. Ten person limit. That's all that is. Who next? And tag real quick. Tag team count as one, two. No, no, they can't. Hell no, 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 nigga. Different category. Different category. No, category. I don't care what you're saying if you said it. No, 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 no. Different category. Rob is so necessary. Hold on. Say say your list. Say your, say your, who, who's, who going? I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go next. I'll go next. Well, I'll go next. But no, no, let's keep on the panel. I'll go next, then Rob, then Action, then Casual, then the Hari, then Tracy. All right, So, my top 10 favorites. No particular order, but these definitely my top 10. You got Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle, Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, um, The Rock, Taker, of course, Ray, Brock, hmm, Sean, Sean Michaels, mm. um, I already said Kurt Angle? Yes. Okay. Hmm. I really think I really think somebody should have this down. These last two stuff. I thought you were writing this down, Kevin. Okay? This last two. No, no, no. I, nah, I'm, nigga, I'm doing dishes right now. I bet. Bet. Yeah. All right. I bet. I got to just say that. I don't care. Goldberg, number nine. And then nah, number don't 10. Do I don't care, nigga. <laughs> number 10. That's bullshit. Fuck. Honestly, this is a sleeper. This is a sleeper. Before, before he did, before he did, um, he did, um, a character I didn't like. I thought his, I thought he was fine. I'm going, I'm going to show Benjamin. He's not necessarily an all time great, but Sheldon Benjamin was cold. Sheldon is an all time great, bro. I met that nigga at Wiley Man. He cool as shit. You talking about grandma? You talking about grandma Benjamin? Or you yeah, I hated. I hated that character when they when they gave him a when they gave when they they gave him a grandma mom. I'm like, all right, bro. They, no. Yeah, they yeah they put no, yeah, they, they sort of doomed them. From That's the mom from but, from but from him, but from him, it's like from his tag team days to his his run as Intercontinental Champion, it's fire, bro, fire. It was, I, I, that, I just want to show him love. That's all. I, if it wasn't for him, it would, it would probably Jeff, be Jeff Hardy. But I, that's what I thought you. I thought you were about to say uh, you would have chose. You loved every. You loved everything about him except for what he did in 2011 to TNA. I thought that's what you were going to say. But when you said that last, uh, you said his his uh, one of the gimmicks they gave him or something like that. I was like, it's either Sheldon Benjamin or it might still be fucking uh, Jeff Hardy still. So who next? Who next? Right, go, go ahead, Ralph. Oh, Ralph, right. your top ten favorites. Ric Flair, Triple H, HBK, Roman, Seth, Jeff, Bianca, Charlotte, Chris Jericho, and Eddie Guerrero. Yeah, he do be showing love to the women, though. I believe it. Oh, that's, a, that's a fun list. That's okay list. Um, at uh, Creed Jackson. 
Jackson. They did do the black guys dirty. They even did. I've got my list ready. I had to write it down so I won't get all confused. Okay. (laughs) I got Hulk Hogan at number one. Mm -hmm. Stone Cold at number two. Got The Rock at number three. Mm -hmm. Rick Flair at number four. Bret Hart at number five. Shawn Mm -hmm. Michaels number six. Undertaker Mm -hmm. number seven. John Cena number eight. Randy Savage number nine. Dusty Rose at number 10. Honorable mention, Roman Reigns. Hey, Mr. Jack, Mr. Mr. Jackson, can I ask you a question? Justin, can I ask you a question real quick? Go ahead. It, it is not going to lead to anything. And don't nobody say nothing after I ask it. How old are you? I'm 38 years old. Nice. Okay. All right. Well, what, what, what's it's what's happening? Like, we, we've been no. to, we, we, we've been to, no, I just want to, no, 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 I just want to, no, I just want to know. Well, I, I mean, know. did my list kind of surprise you or what? Uh, yeah, just slightly, just because you sound like you're a little, little younger, and so, uh, that that's all. That's all. All right. Yeah. Who's next? All right, casually. I think it's casually. You know what I mean? Yep. Go talk about my phone. I got. Go ahead. Breaking, go ahead. This is breaking go ahead, news. Hold on, hold on. This is breaking news. Hold on. This is breaking news. R. P. Akibono, um, sumo wrestler that passed, he passed away. I didn't know who he was. He was the first non-Japanese to reach Yokozuna, the highest ranking sumo. He, he wrestled. He wrestled Big Show in WrestleMania before. Yep. He, 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 <laughs> I was about to say that. He just never made matches. At RP Oak, okay, that's crazy. So, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yeah, I gotta. Yeah, my list is kind of. Um, and this is just favorites, right? Yeah, hey, just favorites. I might go by favorites. I'm going by the, the uh, who's the best. I'm not going by favorites. I, I can tell you my favorites. That's what we. That's what we do. That's what we that's do. What we did. Well, Kat, uh, actually, we'll, we'll we'll take a U turn. We'll come back to you. Go ahead, Kat. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to do. I'm going to start. AJ Styles, CM Punk, John Cena, Kurt Angle, Shawn Michaels, Undertaker. Uh, hmm. Samoa Joe, um, Christopher Daniels, um, Batista. Shit, I almost forgot Batista. Um, <laughs> Edge and uh, Randy Orton. I think that's ten. Is it or is it nine? Ah, Randy. If I let you bid, I'll talk Randy. Uh, if it, if 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 that's if that's only nine, then um, my tenth would be Triple H. No, are you there? No, are. Yeah, I don't think you get it. Let's really go. not. Oh, uh, let's go. Let's go to um Oakland's defensive Trace coordinator, Tracy. Tracy Steele. Trace. Top two. Uh, first of all, can anybody hear me? Yeah, yeah. Heard, yep. heard. All right, uh, I'm going to go with uh, my, my my list is similar to Trues. Um, I got AJ Styles, um, RVD. Um, also got Chris Benoit as a wrestler. Um, so that's three. Mm. Uh, Randy Orton. Um, Triple H. Um, I'm actually gonna give uh, props to Roman Reigns, uh, even though a lot of people don't think he, but he's a good performer. So I like him, uh, what he did for the company, what he's doing for the company. Um, Bianca Belair, like Ralph said, I'm gonna give a shout out to her. Um, I want to say Charlotte, but I said, I'm gonna give a shout out to Amber Moon, which a lot of people didn't know who she was before she came to WWE. And um the uh the Undertaker and um Stone Cold Steve Austin. Bet. I yeah oh and hold up too let me say this real quick too let me say this real quick um let me address let me address this though. Let me address true. Okay, stop true with the Okada shit. First of all, I, I'm a professional friend for real. Like I watch shit from all around the world. Like so, 
If you ain't watch the Okada match, I if if you do like wrestling, I do recommend you watch the Okada match. Uh, specifically, if you want uh, uh, Kenny Omega. Um, if y'all don't know, he's he. I mean, listen, if you know, you know, he's he, he's one of the best wrestlers in the world. Like, I think WWE yeah. was trying to draft to get him. Yeah. So. You know, you know. I mean, he, he had. I mean, he. If I'm not mistaken, Dave Meltzer. If y'all know who Dave Meltzer is, he be covering. Oh man, I forgot about Chris Sabian. I got my, I got my favorites now, y'all. I forgot about Chris Sabian. Okay, okay. All right, all right, Jackson. About, There's about, no, about, particulars. no particulars. I just got my tenth. No particulars. Your favorite. Your favorite. Nine in order. You good. You good. You good. It's your favorite. Yeah. Okay. Santino Morello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number one, Bret Hart. Eugene. Quite a cup. He's real good, man. True. Okay. Uh, sorry. Nah, okay, see. number one, Brett. Gold number dust. Two, CM Punk. Number three, Booker T. Number four, Hulk Hogan. Number five, <laughs> Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> number six, Razor Ramon. Number seven, Keith Lee. Oh. Number eight, Ray Mysterio. Number nine, Riff Flair. Number ten, Carmella Hayes. This but I got on a mention for you. This guy's gonna be checking in, in the next this three one. years. Watch out for his name, Trick Williams. Ooh, I like that guy. Okay. I like that guy. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna be a champ. I see. I see. A future you. champ. I, see you. I can see it, man. He kind of remind me of Booker T a little bit. Huh? A little bit of Booker. A little bit of other people. A little bit of Raw. He got a little bit of everybody. I forgot about Keith Lee. I thought I actually gonna say um, Sheamus. He loves nah. Nah, he's another one, man. So he's mad. another one. But it's, it's so many other people I like, man. Like Chris Jericho, like Chris Benoit. There's so many other people that I like. Yeah, Chris, it's, it's other people too, too. I could have named, you know what I mean? It's other. Um, Will, Os- Will, Will Ospreay, um, John Moxley. I think I think we come up with a top two. I, I think we come up with a top two. But that's not. I think it's my record pairs. Because I think there's six consensus, to be honest with you. Low key I don't think we can do, man. I uh, watch, watch this. Watch this. You Somebody. Who well, um? What we got a pen and paper? Let me know. We can do this shit easy. Thank you. Got got can move, man. He got like he, he's like Bam Bam Bigelow. Keep leaving. Oh. Wait. Oh, no, actually, you still got pen and paper, right? Yeah. Great Kabuki. Hey, listen, the Great Kabuki. Right, so you we go you gonna try to you gonna try to keep track of um. The list that we got now, all right? That we about to create, all right? Hold on. So I'm about to say I'm about to say some names. Actually, let me know when you're ready. All right. Now, for those who, for those, for the listeners at home, for the millions around the world, listening to this live production, and the brothers on the panel, what we about to do? We about to come up with the top ten greatest wrestlers of all time. So, however you interpret it. I ain't doing that. We're gonna we're gonna how we're gonna interpret it. You, um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna oh, vote. On I, it, I got right? it. Hey, hey, hold 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 true, true. Hold on, hold on. True. I'm not do. I'm not doing it, bro. I'm gonna be honest. True, 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 true. true. It's only it's I'm only not doing it. It's seven of us. I'm telling you, I'm not I'll doing be it because hey. listen, I'm gonna Let's tell you why I'm not doing it. I'm gonna tell you why we why I don't want to do it. I'm not. I don't want to do it because I have I have different tastes of wrestling. The other people are not going to appreciate. And I'm just not going to do. I'm just not going to do. I don't. I don't really care. Yeah, let, let's wait on that another time. Let's wait on that. I'm we can do it in a different time. It's okay. Like, 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 said like, before, like, last time, because if I start mentioning dudes, if I start mentioning dudes like the Great Muda, or I start mentioning dudes like Kento Kobashi and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Things of that nature, and people going to be like, "What are you talking about? You really in the trend? Like, no, nah. Kento Kobashi." Listen, bro. Like I know, listen. I know wrestling. Bro. You really in the like, trenches? You know that? That's crazy. crazy. That's crazy. Like I'm telling That's you, I know, crazy. I know wrestling, bro. Like if we're talking about, we talking about, naming, we're talking about greatest wrestlers. I can go I'm just saying, ECW, it, ECW, yeah, or uh, like you it, said, Japan. Like true, I, I, I know where you're going through. That's a, that, but that's reason, why, the reason, that's, why I know. That's why I feel the, like. The, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, true. That's what, and that's why these the names I say are important because these guys are influential. Of uh, even the, the rich, the Kenta, uh, Kenta Kabachi's protege, Kenta. If you don't know who Kenta is, CM Punk stole his move. The, the GTS that that's came from him. You you talking about Kenta that's in like, NXT? 
Yeah, see, that GTS, the go to sleep, that yeah. move came from him. In the bot, that knee move that Daniel Bryan used, that came from also from Kenta also. So it's like, it's a lot, of, a lot of them Japanese wrestlers, even the females. Like you go like back, go like in like the mid nineties Japanese wrestling. Bull, Bull like, was, like a lot of them. You got Bull Nakana. Yeah, like yeah, a lot of these. Yeah, all I know you niggas used to watch. I never really, I ain't gonna hold. You. I never watched that show though, King Dog. Be honest with you, I never so watched that show. So then why don't we do this? What why show? don't we do this? Thanks, why don't we just sing? Why don't we just put it into a box of just What's top up? ten? Never WWE seen the Dolphins of all time. Hold on, hold on, you said, hold on, my fault, my, my fault. He said, my fault. Will Lakers had a question. Today. You said, name three members of chaos. Okada was in chaos. Sinsuke Nakamura was in chaos. Um, um, my boy's a orange, technically, Orange Cassidy in chaos in AEW. Technically, what's my man named Her? Uh, um, what's my man Hiro Hir Hiroki Gato? Hiroki Gato is in chaos. Um, Rocky Romero. Like I know, listen, bro. Like, come on, man. So don't play. Listen, but I can name Bullet Stop Club too. I know Bullet Club. I Stop know all this. Like, y'all remember eight thousand WCW? That's all I L remember. Lij. Well, she don't want to do the list. Mexicals. True. Mm -hmm. No, but that's why. Oh, my fault. Was bro, bro, name, name. Hold on. My fault. My fault, y'all. Will Lakers keep yeah. trying me? We name the original members of Bullet Club: Carl Anderson. Um. My man, what's the big? My mom went blank. Uh, Luke Gallows, nigga. Luke Gallows. Gallows. No, not, technically he wasn't original. Finn Balor, aka Prince Devitt. Was um, it? Was it? Was Tama it? Uh, this thing was in there. Tama Tonga and his and his cousin, a big big uh Tongan. Camacho, um, Camacho. No, no, that's not the original members of of Bullet Club. Talking about his brother, his brother. Was that his brother? No, no, true. he got me a um, older cousin. True, give me bad the numbers. Fale. Fale. Bad luck, Fale. Bad luck, yep. Fale. Bad luck, Fale. Yep, him. So, true. listen, give me yeah, a <laughs> sure was an original member, bro. True, give me the, give me the members of the FBI. I mean, look at him. I can't tell you top of my head though. I only know a little. Oh, you talking about? Yo, remember Nunzio? Nunzio. Oh, wasn't wasn't Adam Cole? Wasn't Adam Cole? Yo, remember Nunzio too? That's crazy. Yeah, Adam Cole was part of Bill Club. There's a lot of people part of Bill Club. Yeah. Kenny Omega, um, no, no, Chris, no, no. Frank Kazan, Frank Kazan right? was part of Bullet Club for a little bit. Frankie Cole. Yo, Cole. you know, um, you know, know a wrestler that slept on had a short run. Y'all remember um? Was it was it Brian Knight? That's or Brandon Knight? It was um. I remember he was Bruce, a, I remember Bruce. He was a cruiserweight. Oh, he was a cruiserweight. Yeah, he, he about, was uh, cool. Brian Kendrick. Come on, Brian Kendrick. Kendrick. Huh? Right back there with we talking about Brian Kendrick, like he said. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know. He was at WCW first, and then he got. Yeah, yeah. He always had the he always had the four fifty as a finisher. Paul London, that was another one. That was his partner. Paul London hey, up there. Paul London. Yeah. Sean, Sean, Paul London. Sean, uh, Sean Helms. What's his name? Shane Helms. Uh, talking about her. Yeah. yeah. Well, my dude. When he was when he was Shane Helms, the, his original self. He was better. Yo, for my dude, for my dude, still watching wrestling. What happened to Evan Bourne? Is he still wrestling? Yeah, he wrestles. Yeah, he's in AEW. Okay. Real quick, they bring ECW back too. Also, uh, what? Wait, 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 wait. Tom, 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 Tom. I went to the Hall of Fame and and Paul talked about it when they went off air. It's going to be a UFC. That being said, what that being said though, right? WWE to do that just for a little bit. It's going to come back, but they, they, they. It's going to be on Netflix, bro. What the format? What the format going to be? It's like right. a UFC type feel. I don't want that. What do you mean no. UFC type of feel? Like it's going to be like that? Dude, what you talking about? You don't want that? Netflix no, what I don't want to what you mean? Dang. I don't want to see damn. Right, so it's not going to be like it's not going to be like the original ECW, but it's going to be something. It new. is, but it's going to be like the feeling of uh, UFC, like. I, I really don't know how to subscribe. Way you know what I'm, you know what, what what's them, what, you know what I'm talking about. What's the, what them things that be having them backstage segments? Remember them backstage segments you used to have like them fights and shit with like yeah, you know, I know what you're talking about. You talking about underground NXT underground? Yeah, I mean, uh, underground, it's, gonna like underground. it's gonna be like that per se. 
Honestly, I don't know. He just said he's going to have a UFC type feel. I don't know. Call it something different though. Like I don't. If you want to bring ECW back and it's on Netflix, right? If that's a lot of potential. You get what I'm saying? You can do a lot of different things. That you know what I mean? Like I, I want to see the that. blood. I want to see the barbed wire, man. I don't like. Just don't call it something different. You know what I mean? I wouldn't mind seeing that. Make it like a, a different brand. I think Rob. I think Rob. Yeah, you talking about G? You talking about GCW? I ain't gonna hold. Listen, let me ask y'all this though. Have y'all ever watched a death match before? You talking about ZCW? Talking like ECW shit? No, 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 no. True. Are you talking about from yeah, ZCW? No, he's talking about GCW. Other, other, there's other company that do it. There's other company no, that do it too. About Jeff. He's talking about not just not talking just ZZ. There's other company that do it too. Yeah. Jap, well, but you Jap, know what I'm talking about? I think Japanese though, started like, first. Japanese. Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah, I know. ECW. They used to do this shit. They used to have. They used to have like there's a bunch of companies that do it. There's a bunch of companies. A bunch of players that do it though. Like this, that shit is crazy, bro. Like that, also, that, shout that, out hey, to I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to Neville. That dude right there is amazing too. Yeah, uh, like, Neville, you talking about, yep. the, you talking about the, uh, the cruiser? That way? bastard Pac. Pac. Yeah, bastard Pac. That bastard. Well, yeah, Pac. from like, yeah, AEW. Nice. The yeah. bastard. AEW ain't doing nothing. Y'all, y'all, hey. AEW um released the. Nah, he he in a few with Okada right now. He feel he feel with Okada right now. What you say? Oh, he is. No, nah, I was saying the um the AEW they just aired like what happened with CM Punk and Jack Perry backstage, and Hold on. it basically confirmed what CM Punk was saying the whole time. He said, "I just choked the nigga." He did. He yoked the nigga up. So I don't know why they would air that though. They just want ratings because they, of they, WrestleMania week. Yeah, they, 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 it's a it's Tony a lot of, it's a lot of petty shit. It's a so petty. is Jack yeah, Perry? Tony, is he released for Tony, AEW? Tony Khan has been, Tony Khan has been on this. Nah, he. To like, uh, I thought they released him. So no, I was hearing that rumor. No, he, my, yeah, yeah. Tony Khan was balling, but Jack yeah, Perry. No, Tony, he's Tony, in, Khan, he t- Tony Khan has been on his mission. Tony Khan has been on his mission to like basically make CM Punk out as the villain, like the complete villain in this entire like situation and stuff like that. So what he he said on social media, I forget. I want to say it was like a week or two ago that he was going to come out with the footage, and then he came. He he had basically told a, a fan that had asked him like, "Where's the video?" It was like coming soon, and so people were like, "You have to send it because if you don't show the vid, if you don't show the footage, like the backstage footage of what happened, now you look even more goofy. You gonna look goofy regardless because you're yeah, a manager. You're a manager. You're a manager acting like this towards your employees. So you're gonna look goofy just because you're even speaking about this. But you're gonna look even more. Goofy yeah, it looks unprofessional. You- like why y'all? Yes. And then, and then- right, you see Vince yeah. ain't. Take the footage of uh Bret Hart whooping his ass at the screw job. Exactly, exactly. Now you listen, ain't seen, you ain't funny, seen man. WWE for any of these. Yeah, it's pretty. Oh yeah, I don't, CM I don't. Punk is straight yeah, I don't. Number one right now on um on X. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> that was a, that was, um, hi, you, yeah, hi, Jack, you actually call it Jack Perry. Oh, Jack right, Perry. Yeah, yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, but Jack Perry <laughs> right now. But but, but but Creed said, "Was Jack Perry right? Jack Perry is in New Japan and Bullet Club." He's in a sub faction. He's in the House of Torture, a sub faction in Bullet Club. Has he yeah, been? Has he sense. been back on? Has he been seen on television since this incident? Because he's been no, on New Japan. He's been on New has. Japan. Matter of fact, matter of fact, he's gonna be in Chicago. New Japan Pro Wrestling had an event in the in the states in Chicago. Chicago. Oh shit! They, I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought he was gonna. I ain't gonna lie to you. I thought he was gonna be world heavyweight champion material for AEW. And then once this situation happened, I said, "There's no way. There's no way they." Hey, casual. Let me, let me let me let me ask you what happened with Yo, Chu. Can I get yo? Wait, wait. Hold on, real quick, real quick. Can I give a quick shout out? Can I give a quick shout out? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, shout out to Maven, Saturn, Val Venus. Oh, and D'Lo Brown. How about you? Maven do got a good YouTube channel. Maven do got a good YouTube channel. I like Maven. They do. Like, they don't. They, 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 yo, they low key. The yo, these wrestlers, pod, yo, these wrestlers podcast channels be fire. Like, they, they real fire. I'm not going to get all of them. Yeah, definitely like, I like the info. I like the info. I like the yeah, info of the other bit. Like, Booker T. Booker T podcast fire. You know, I asked you. Like like podcast fire. Shout out um, yeah. Yeah, uh, I've been Mac podcast probably too. The dude that used to uh, do the backstage with WWE. Yep, but um, yeah, I, I think um, Jazz, what's, what's that dude, who doing a, who doing shout out to the Jabba Tears Network. That's my family. Who's who doing who who's doing the Russian show? Man, y'all, y'all I mean, it's it's gonna be Ralph, on, SB, Casual, and um, 
We branded. Yeah, so tell far. Lamont, tell Lamont come up, yo. Like, what is there's a wrestling like? show? Because he mentioned a wrestling show already, and I think I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I was surprised that niggas was actually excited to talk about wrestling. I am. I'm uh, happy about it. This, this, this yeah. is my this, this is my I'm vibe. Yeah, I'm I told him something about the wrestling, bro. So who? So hold on. So who? Who, who you say? Who you say though? Um. Uh, oh, uh, uh, sturdy. Hmm. Oh, I said um, SB Ralph rebranding Adam. Wait, hold on. True ain't enough. Yeah, I'm not in there either. I don't like. I'll be. Uh, I'll be if part. Y'all want? If y'all don't stand up, nigga, step up. Stand up, nigga. You. I, 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 I think it's like S- SB on those uh. Those uh shows. Yeah. Well, hold on, but this is the thing. Though. Like I said, I think bomb be real. Your schedule got be I'm open, open yeah. Jackson. You you yeah, be yeah, going too long. Like to do, yeah, my schedule. I would like to. Do, I did hit Lamont up earlier about a wrestling show too, and I would like to. And um, we can like I said, there was that's the people I wanted like do a wrestling show with, like, because I think, like I said, I bring a different like, like I said, I watch more just WWE and AEW too. Like I watch Independence. I watch you know what I mean. T N. I watch TNA. Shout out to Nick Namath. You know what I mean. Aka Dolph Ziggler, uh, Mustafa Ali, like I so watch Mustafa other things Ali, like that sure. too. So like Jeff I watch Jarrett. Japan Pro Ooh. I'm a, I'm a, hey, I'm gonna be real with you though. Jeff Jarrett is low key. Jeff Jarrett is low key underrated though. I ain't, we, I ain't gonna mm-hmm. hold you. He low Jeff key Jarrett, are you, are you serious? Oh, I'm beyond. He, he, he is you. underrated. I ain't yeah, gonna he hold you though. He's a heel. Hey, he's a, he's a, he's a un, he one of the most underrated heels in the bit. Like, Jeff he, Jarrett's not even top fifty. Really want to be honest. Is it, yeah, yeah, it's it's gonna be, honestly, true. That's a fact. He, he. I think he is most underrated. Wait, hold on, hold on. Is it on the he's an underrated heel, man. Hold on, I hate Jeff Jarrett who, who, though. Who's the most overrated though? Like I got Ken Shamrock. I feel like he. Was I got Jonathan Cena. Like Come that. on, he, 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 <laughs> Jonathan what? Cena. Uh, but real quick, y'all. Um, who's the Shamrock? most overrated? Be on FYF, uh, Sturdy. Huh? It's on FYF. What? The show. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be sending. So whenever y'all give me the official date, I'm gonna be sending in my uh footages and shit from the uh me going to the shows. I got you. I, I, I got you. Hold on, hold on. Twenty twenty uh twenty eighteen. We don't, Lamont. We don't know who is doing the wrestling show. Huh? Right. Yeah, Who's doing the wrestling knows. show? We, sure. Who like, no, SB? Who SB? The casual kick him up. Simple. Yeah. Yeah, start the rest yeah, of the show. Sunday do mess me up too. Sometimes I, I only got weekends. Yeah, everybody Sunday. free. Everybody free Sunday. We can do Sunday. I'm free. Okay, okay. Sunday. well, so nobody, so nobody got, so nobody got SB number. So nobody got, they, they ain't got no contact. I, 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 I got Facebook a lot. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Facebook chat. Let me ask you real quick. You got SB number, don't you? Yeah, I got SB number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I think no, yeah, oh, yeah. I, don't I, know get the is. I, don't back. I am, but I gotta get it back because I delete. Get the, uh, get the Discord back. Like yeah, the got, yeah, yeah. But I'm still it. logged yeah, in on in. Uh, the Discord. Yeah, though. but like, but like I said, the rest will listen. Like I said too, because um, said also Discord? too, like yeah, Discord. I'm about to put the link in the uh in the chat. I got you. And like I said too, well, we got. I, I had it, but too many of y'all was messaging in the middle of the night. Notifications going off on my you, phone. You you know you can mute that shit. You know you can mute that joke. Yeah, I was like, I was like, what the hell y'all doing it, up? If I were truth, if I were truth or J though, with the with the conspiracy <laughs> takes on, I hate LeBron with cold sweats. I hate LeBron. <laughs> Hold on, I'm putting it, I'm putting it in the chat right now. Bro. But um, so what made y'all want to do this crazy. wrestling show? Who who came up with this? Um, nobody on it. Lamont been saying something about it, but uh, I didn't know he was serious. Lamont low key, Lamont low key said something about it though. Yeah, but I didn't you. know if he was like really serious, but Not, but he, he don't. I guess he want to make Man, his. Hold on, y'all. Uh, hey, true. Do you know if brother was gonna take a wrestling draft? Yeah, yeah. I asked him to do it. Huh? Yeah, I asked he him did a poll. He, he did a poll. I don't know when he's gonna do it though. He did a poll. That's gonna be the next draft. I'm not mistaken. Oh, I got oh, some. I got yeah, some. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm big. Hey, Jay, hey, Jay, Jay Renegade. Oh, Jay and Renegade doing the show on Mondays. Oh man, y'all, uh, I'm wait, looking on, forward Jay, to that. No, no, not, y'all keep me up there. I'm looking on, forward right? to that. F I M conspiracy. Oh man, this about to get crazy. I'm looking hey, Lamont, forward for Lamont, that. Lamont, we need to, Lamont, I really want to put together a rap show, dog. Well, a music show. Where we talk about rap and di- dissect rap. If we can. Who Jay and Renegade? Who that? A spot for that. You know Renegade. You know, renegade. I know Renegade. I know, I know Jay. Renegade. I know Jay. You know Jay. 
the true J be having a conspiracy. That, that has that has that has potential. If they if they keep if they keep an active conversation, that's potential. I'm not going to what? And and, and 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 it's like you got LeBron we, James we, hater. We, and people don't hate oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna hey, be we, good. Hey, hey, FYF, the sports debate is about to go global with all of us. We're about to go global, bro. Everybody, all these channels we gonna have on your drone. We about so what you're saying, what you're saying is I'm apologizing. He got the bat and stuff, he got everything, yo. Oh, you can Mine throw Brando in there. He can have his show on there if you want to. So what you're saying? So what you're saying? I'm idolizing the goat Jay because I call him the goat, huh? <laughs> we got we got the headliner and the sports. Yeah, I but just, like I said, and then we got, too, the, we got the other channel. We about to go global. Be, and like, gotta be consistent. And like I said, that's, it, yeah. we'll that, that's yeah. all. Bro. That's all. You just gotta be. Consistent. Yeah, that's basically be consistent. Big yeah, fact. that's we, we, that was, we, we, we gotta figure our time. So we 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 can do it Sunday though. But it's like I said though. That being said. But just have uh, to be a special guest. I'll be the special guest on there. I ain't gonna be the main person. I just be a special guest. Whenever you can fit in, for um, sure. Or just, just the backup. Just like you said. Just oh, we gotta be careful be, too, though. Be. We do if we do do this show though. We get we, New Japan be hating on like showing footage and stuff like that. Yo, yo, yo true, like, yo, true. Like, imagine, like, imagine, um, imagine, uh, uh, Renegade and Jay right doing FIF conspiracy with Jared. As the moderator in ad lib, there <laughs> can't be no moderator though. You, you, yo, you, yo, you, that would be, yo, that would be, be fire, dog. That would be fire. Hey, no, yo, no, you're crazy. I'm gonna be yeah. real, Brandon Cat. Yo, 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 imagine that. Yo, yo, Chu, yo, imagine Brandon, that. Brandon, so Brandon, what? Brandon, the earth, Brandon, the Brandon, earth Brandon, is flat, Brandon, Jay. Hold on, hold on, sturdy. Are y'all trying to do like a that race don't need a show, man. That race don't need a show, man. You said, well. Are y'all trying to do like the other town? Like hey, the FAF, FAF, FAF Biggits. We, we've been FAF like Biggits. No, that's, Lamont Ben talked about this for years before that channel got started. Yeah, we, oh, that, 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 that is a fact. That, that is a fact. That, 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 that was already in motion already. But listen, if we being real, they, Lamont had a show over there one night. And I don't know if y'all were over there, but niggas started talking politics and people were engaged. Like the, the chat was engaged like fuck. So... I think he can bring that element of politics. He can bring nah, nah. Don't mix. You don't mix politics and sports. Like, you don't put that. You, listen, there was a lane. Don't put that. You don't put that. Yeah, do that. Do that, yeah, that put that on sports. Uh, dang. Don't put it on sports. Who would do the football stuff? Who would do the football stuff? I mean, Wait, real quick. Uh, sturdy. As we as we said, what time is start? Nigga, tell SB you and True. Talk to one another, bro. Like, what's SB acting like a noob, buddy? Set it up. He know the mom. He know true. Like, damn. Like, he know you, Ralph. Set it up. Hey, I'm just, they, I'm, they I'm, my whole thing is what time oh, we right, start. Man. My whole thing is where we where we trying to do time we starting on Sunday. That's what Nigga, I'm trying to like. Talk to the niggas, man. Talk to them. Are you doing this show like, too? And it's like a rap. No, no, no. That ain't not in my lane. I told you, I, I, I retired. My, my drinks in the rappers. I don't, I don't watch this no more. All right, wrestling. So, okay, cool. All right, so I mean, whatever the best time for y'all, I'm, I'm free. Everybody free. just need whatever to join the best time for y'all. So y'all can talk about it. On the yeah, back. join the Discord so y'all can talk about it. I'm gonna hold up. Yo, the, bro, the join the Discord, bro. I'm about to, I'm about to start. I'm about to start joining now. Though. Tell SB to join the Discord too. Yeah, I'll put it in the chat already. No, he is. Let's be in the Discord. So I ain't gonna be no problem. I like this, man. I, I'm glad this, this is coming to be in motion now. We've been wanting to do this for a long time. That shit crazy. I didn't know, like... I'm saying we, actually. I, I didn't said, know people were really... I wanted yeah, to do it. He's funny as hell, sir. <laughs> hey, if y'all been, uh, been on, if y'all been on True Channel, we've been talking about wrestling for a long time. I mean, I've been wanting to do it. I just, you I know... I never heard y'all talk about it over there. No, we, we talk about wrestling all the time. We, when we get here. Uh, shout out to... Shout out to that, man. Did, did any of y'all watch Monday Night Raw? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Them motherfuckers had me mad in that building, bro. I was in there, yo. Yeah. You know, Philadelphia, you know, yeah, I, I know got a big Philadelphia problem, is bro. so frustrating. Philadelphia is so frustrating. No, listen, they crowd, they crowd picked Hold it up on. after after uh, night one. Like I got a big time problem. Two. And Raw, they 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 were lit. Right. Was it, it was really the outsiders that was lacking yes. with the participation, not the Philly crowd, bro. Oh no, no. I, when I say uh, it's it's something about the city of Philly because it's it's close by to other areas, so others uh, like other small cities come in. 
Yeah, you got you got Jersey, Delaware, all that. Yeah, but that that was a worldwide event. So I met a bunch of motherfuckers from England, Mm -hmm. all over the UK, fucking South America, like everywhere. It it really touched every I huh? find it's better to watch the shit on TV. Like I went to uh, WrestleMania, I think it was 38 when they came to Dallas. And yeah. the shit was it was cool cuz you got to see like I got to see the Undertaker, Triple H and them. But it was just like I get what you about to say the commentary more. makes it more comment. right. I, I get what you about. Yeah, that's that's, that's the, the I'm not gonna lie, like yeah. But, but, but that's that's the, the biggest thing. I remember important. that. Important. Yeah, that's yeah, the first but, time like when, if you go to like when you first go there, yeah, we first Yo, when you first go there, you one, you like you so used to the commissary wrestling because wrestling and commissary actually go hand in hand. Like it's, it's that, it makes you so much better. It's, so it's like, not, nah, hell no, hell no, hell no. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Not every sport has good commentary. We can go leave it at that. Basketball, I, so, I can't. So watch in regards, in regards, yeah, in regards to like WWE, well, wrestling in general, right? You when you go to an event, one, you like damn, oh, oh shit, I'm, I'm not here to commentary. Number two. Those fireworks and music is loud as fuck. Yeah. Imagine your first time. Imagine your first time going to vet and Kane is one of the first matches. And then Batista is the goddamn main event. Fuck if I go to school. Hey, Sturdy, I was sitting. I was in the club box next to the pyro at WrestleMania and shit. Everybody kept jumping the fuck around me. I'm like, I'm used to this shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That shit was crazy. Hey, so Especially when something. Roman and uh, Cody came out. Y'all want to hear something funny, though? So, in, uh, I think it was 2021. My first event was make, uh, Money in money the bank? bank. Yeah. So, that, they were in Fort Worth. So, mm-hmm. I, I stayed for the whole show. And then my dumb ass, I wanted to try to beat the traffic. So, I'm like, fuck it. After uh, Roman Reigns beat Edge, I get the, I'm like, fuck it. I'm about to hurry up and get up out of here. So, I get to my car. I get on the, on the highway. I'm happy as shit. I'm like, yeah, I beat the traffic. So I'm scrolling on my phone, and they like, John Cena came out. I was like, what the fuck? So, oh, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. a lot of shit you so, miss. I'd be right. I beat, I beat traffic with Miss John Cena. So the next night, I went to Raw because it was in Dallas. So I go to Raw, and then I'm like, the shit was boring. So I'm like, all right, I'm about to get the fuck out of here. I, I end up catching John Cena because he started the show off. But then I left, and then fucking Goldberg came out after I left. So I was like, bro, I ain't never leaving the show. That's the thing. You got to get there way before <laughs> early because... <laughs> uh, rebranding, they be having matches before and after the mm-hmm. show sometimes. Because mm-hmm. when, when Raw went off last, uh, well, this Monday, fucking uh, Jay and CM Punk had a little segment. He threw his shoes in the fucking Raptors and shit. Yeah. And, uh, I remember my first event. My first event, they 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 recorded Raw and SmackDown that same day. I work. I'm like, damn, we getting two shows? They're like, yeah. Yeah, that's where I was with the Hall of Fame. We we got out that bitch at two a.m., bro. They, and they changed that. They changed. They changed the settings to that motherfucker quick too. Paul Heyman had the best. Yeah, oh, that yeah. was that, I'm glad you said that, Straight. Ain't them motherfuckers quick as shit, and it'd be only like four of them motherfuckers. <laughs> yo, that yo, I swear to God, yo, Ralph ain't lying, dog. I'm like, how the fuck did this? When they look, when they go to commercial break, them niggas get to rolling out the mat. They roll. I'm like, what the fuck are they doing? They moving quick as shit. Like yeah, they be changing the mess because of the sweat. Yeah, like the NASCAR pit crew. They, they be they come out real quick. Yeah. And then you know when they come back in, like they'll put the the next match up on the uh, the Titan Tron. Not the Titan. Have it, uh, Have y'all ever been to an event when uh like say somebody is supposed to like come in and, and like save somebody, but yeah. they they be under the rain. I, yeah, they, no, I don't think I've yeah. seen that. Nah. Yeah, I went to, yeah, 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 I always hear hey, that. Hey, Ralph, they go yeah, out at night with, uh, what's the, what's the Uso, the, uh... Talking about Jimmy? Caught, no, not Jimmy. Somebody caught it on, uh, Twitter. Yeah, that was Jimmy under the ring. That, oh, that was Jimmy, yeah. So, that you can see his arm when, um, Cody Rose, I think, went under the mat. Yeah, he was weapon. giving care. You can see the dude's arm move back, like, he was trying to hide. Yeah, like, look, I went to Extreme Rules, right? Remember when the Undertaker came back and, uh... Oh, Versus AJ, when he fought AJ Styles, and, well, help AJ Styles and shit, bro. They rode, in, bro, doing like uh, like the intermission or whatever, like transition to the next match. They rode the Undertaker out in this big ass bin and shit. Everybody screaming and shit, and then the, the the producers like putting their fingers up, like be quiet, be quiet, be quiet, and they put the bin under the ring, and then all you heard was the dong after like 15, 20 minutes. And they went on the ticket, and then the lights went out, and we seen him come from under the ring and shit. 
Like they rolled him out before. Like like that's what they do. Mm-hmm. Like see, yeah, shit like that will ruin it for me. Like I need the. I can't. I mean, but it's scripted, man. I mean, it's, you, you, some people just uh, at live events like us, we, you're gonna see that. Yeah, yeah when you live here, you can see TV, 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 you can't see that. Yeah, TV, you can't see it. It's like, oh, shit. Yeah, That's I need commentary. Like, oh, then when you go shit. to like the, but, uh, the, but, uh, the, but hey, I, hey, hey, that, 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 that Rhea Ripley and Becky this match, flat out suck. You had the wrong person fighting against that person. Yeah, yeah, it should have been Nia or Liv Morgan, bro. They, they nah, the hey, Jay Uso and Jimmy uh, match was pretty trash too. They said no, they was the Rhea Ripley. They said the L.A. Knight and uh, AJ Styles match was kind of fire though. You know what's crazy about AJ Styles though? With WrestleMania matches like all the matches you think would be great become bad, but like the matches you don't <laughs> expect to be like you think would be bad becomes good. Did he face Edge like, or something? Was it thirty-eight? He faced now nah, he faced Chris Jericho when it was a lackluster match, but like. He, but his, his best matches at WrestleMania have been Shane McMahon and LA Knight, which is crazy. What's hold on? Yo, Shane, 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 Shane really know how to wrestle, Shane, bro. Shane McMahon, one of them, though. Like, no, I'm just, but you, no, I'm not I'm not saying he don't know how to wrestle, though. I'm saying, though. Oh, like, yeah, Shane. Shane definitely. Shane, 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 Shane made Braun Strowman look good. But hey, Ralph. No, bro, Ralph, I'm, look, I'm not saying, Ralph. listen, look, listen, listen, bro. I'm not saying Shane though can't wrestle. I'm just saying, though, like, the expectation was not high. with bigger names, like, better, more technical. Yeah. No, just uh, because yeah, them, them cool. other guys can't really do what, 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 like, uh, Shane is adaptable. Like, he can do all types of styles, bro. Hey, hey one night, but a part we gotta of that, do, um, but we a gotta part do of that, best matches, I just want, though. I just want to say, a part, of, a part of that is because AJ Styles, AJ Styles, won. he ain't the wrestler that he once was, and then he's going up against other wrestlers, where, in theory, it should be a dream match because you've been wanting it when they were in their prime. But he's going to yeah. get niggas out of their proms. Like when he went up against Edge, if he goes up against Edge in like 2010, 2009, 2008, it's a banger. I promise you it's a banger. Yeah. But because, but Edge is older, AJ Styles is older, they can't do the things physically that they once could. So that's why. Oh, I, I, we're Brandon. We're Brandon. We're Brandon. That's, I remember the answer. In my opinion, I think Edge is the most overrated. You wait. Mm. I won't say overrated. That's I was saying, I'm not saying he's trash. I'm not saying he's trash, but I, just, I do think people no, overrate him. Who, who Ed, who I don't think he was the best member of this group, bro. Edge is great, but I think no, no, I think people down, overrate him. You got to show your work. Why? Why do you say that? <laughs> show your work <laughs> because it's crazy. This is crazy. Edge, no, it's not. It's really not like Edge. Edge for me, I rank. I rank. Um, any wrestling technicians should like like the ability to flow and sell all that shit. Y'all, y'all get what I'm saying? Uh, rated yeah. technician, I, I value that high. And low key, it's not, I'm not oh, saying Edge don't put on great matches. Yeah, I'm I'm not saying Edge don't put on great matches, but from his standpoint, nah, he's not. No, he he so happened to be with other great partners. Yeah, like he's he, not a great like, wrestler. He's an excellent. He's an excellent teammate. Like he's an oh. excellent teammate. But like, and also. But his look, I do give that too. His promotion game is underrated. It's slept on. Yeah. Like his 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 promotion is very slept on. But that's the, that's for me, in the tag team ring was. ring technician, like like I, I take that enough, and I don't think that's why I think people overrate uh, Edge. So who? So let me I'm not saying he's not great, but I think people overrate him. That's why. Thirty. Let me ask you then. Uh, I agree. Is, is, who who's better in ring? Is it him or Christian? Low key is actually, and they're, they're fucked up because I used to be a Christian hater, but it's actually too, Christian me too, me who's the better technician. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just Edge had the best finisher. Edge had the best finisher and he had the best storyline. So that's why you know, Christian no, low key got overshadowed. Me the whole time, I'm talking about, you know what? Let me say this. Let me say this. I'm a, I, I, I may agree with the Edge being overrated now because now, since you mentioned Christian, it makes sense because. Christian is very underrated. And I, in my opinion, if you really want to be honest, Christian, the only difference between Christian and Edge is Christian didn't get the same opportunities as Edge did. But when Christian yeah, did, like when I Christian said, yeah, he, didn't, Jones, he, didn't have, he didn't have the storylines like Edge did. Like, like Christian, but like I said, Christian proved, to the that rock was, Christian, Christian, Christian proved that when he was um, in TNA. He proved that. He, he proved it now in the AEW where he gave him a certain uh, – uh, and even in the little light he got in WWE, he proved it. Like he's an underrated heel. I mean, he definitely he, his hit, like his heel work he be doing recently is, is, is phenomenal. Yeah, but but true, that's 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 what I'm saying. Like 
I think I think Christian's a better technician, but Edge had better storylines and he was a better promoter. Mm. Edge was a way nah, better Christian promo game. Christian no. promo game, bro. Christian carried yeah. the, the Christian promo, bro. He carried. Bro, bro Edge, bro, Edge had promotion with Mick Foley, with Cena. You're with talking Randy. about bro, Christian, bro. Bro. Wait, hold on, hold on. Ross, Ross, Ross. I didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't leave out. I forgot I left the main event for last, bro. Tell me you, you know, did not forget. And tell me you did not forget him and the 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 feud between him and Matt Hardy. That was, but that was real though. Like that was no, that's like, no, but, so but you're talking about singles too. But when they was together, Christian was that guy, bro. And no, no, that, they both, they both were fire taxi. I'm not, I'm not denying them as a taxi. The promos, the promos were everything, remember, Christian, bro. With them and Kurt Angle and shit, they would do the camera shit, like the yeah, yeah they would, they would, um, yeah, they would, um, I forgot what you call it, but like, they would dress up as other wrestlers and and, and, and spoof. They were spoofing. Hold on, let me. So, what would y'all rank them in, in the top in the uh, tag teams? All tag the teams, top, bro. Any hold, on, hold, on, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. You talking ECW? They is top whatever. five, though. Like, hold, hold on, hold on. I mean, no, I don't talk. I'm talking about if you saying all that, then I don't. I don't know. Top of my head, they are. They're all time they, great they tag all, team. Though. They, they, they are all time. But he said, you know, what I'm saying. First of all, Road Warriors and Dudley Boys automatic top five. We ain't gonna Road play them. Not automatic, no damn top yeah, five. Yeah, right, what? Not time, though. Time, though. Time, though. Road Christian, Road Christian, Christian the Edge is better than. Christian Edge better than Dudley Boys. Let's not. Let's not. What? No. Let's, no. Bro, no, true. You true. No, you wild. Are, you bro. crazy. Bro, you wild. Bro. I hate to say this, bro. I hate to say this, but Bubba Ray was carrying the shit out of D-Von Dollar. He carried the shit out of D-Von Dollar. Let's let's let's. Oh, now you been disrespectful to D-Von. You been disrespectful. The Road Warriors are not top five. The Dudleys, yes they are. But Road Warriors, no the fuck. How you how you discredit the Road Warriors? Look at the credentials, man. They won best in every promotion. Because when you hear my Steiner brothers, they not even the Steiner brothers. Ten tag team, you. Be like, oh, I see. But yeah, I, I bro, wait. The Wolf, listen, the Road Warriors not even better than, than the Steiner brothers. They not even better than Tom. Yeah, you tweaking, bro. Why not disrespecting the Road Warriors, bro? They're not, they're they're not, they're not even better than Steiner. Every promotion they was in. Bro, get me, get me the New Age Outlaws over the fucking Road Warriors, bro. <laughs> no, I'm out of here. Right, I'm out of here. I'm done. Why ain't mad at that? I low key, nah, nah, nah. No, they I mean, not. Low key, man, what do you I mean they're not? Cooking. <laughs> Route low key cooking, though. Hey, I got a, I got a question for you. The construction is way better than the new age. I mean, way better than the fucking Road Wars. So you tell me, World Wars won all these belts in these different promotions? Yeah, and they were trash. They're Bro, trash. that was that time. That era of wrestling was really trash. Rick Flair, Roddy Piper, Dusty Rose, and and all them, them the the, the fucking on, on, four horsemen carried that shit. Hold on, Ralph. Let me say this real quick. My they were not was even be better. Not, they, 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 they top be ten better. in the conversation. They up there, man. Be better than hardcore and Crash Holly. Oh, we move on now. You, oh, we move on. We move on now. Like that's crazy. But that's that, crazy. that's like we can say. Well, that's like we we're can not say, going that far. We, we, we can put that in NBA turn. Turn. Are they better than APA? Yeah, they every yeah they better than APA. Come on, we ain't going. Yeah, they better. What the? What are you talking about, nigga? They top five, y'all. Oh, 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 they top five. Let me say this. Hold on, hold on. But let me go back. The original question is the more overrated. That's the, the most overrated is Goldberg, though. Can we can we all yeah, read no, the most fact, overrated motherfucker is Goldberg? Goldberg, yeah. Oh, you hate it. Right. I'm, yeah. I'm a Goldberg fan. I'm a Goldberg fan. He tried with Stanley. No, I I got somebody that's more overrated than him. He's tied with Stanley. No, he's not. He's tied with Stanley. He's tied with Stanley. Stanley ain't overrated. Bro, they're overrated. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Sting, Sting was – listen, shout out to Sting for retirement this year. Sting been over since the late eighties, bro. He was bro. That, he been over since about the late eighties. Hold on, but shout out to Scott Hall. They gave How him you, the crow, the crow uh, character. Hey, listen, like you said, and like you said though, like from the nineties. Oh, who said who said Sting was overrated? I don't know. Me, who said that. That's Ralph, 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 Ralph hating that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie, Ralph. Ralph. You low key cooking. I'm not gonna count. How are you talking about? Time 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 how can you cook? Oh, time, how can you cook saying Sting is overrated? When listen, I'm gonna say this too. And we said this. We said it before. I'm, 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 I'm answering your question right now because we said it before. Him standing, not saying shit for fucking years and getting away with it, dog. That was the gimmick. He was over. Uh, okay. nah. That was the gimmick. I, I know you know your stuff, man. You don't see the people like my At I'm some I'm point, you have to. Like, no, 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 true. Because I don't, I don't, I can get finished. Because we seen that, that, 
that that type of gimmick get mastered by Taker. Taker used to do the same thing, but it's actually put, put on gimmick. great y'all matches. Y'all y'all that's, like not gimmick, that's not the same gimmick, bro. Y'all being so disingenuous, bro, because nobody wasn't talking about Taker having great matches like that in the 90s, bro. That, that, you're a liar, listen, bro. He was athletic what? like a mother, right, walking bro. the tight rope. I'm not saying he what didn't have about? a great match. Taker listen, was listen. struggling to have a pwn. He listen. fucking whooped Hulk Hogan. I, and that was I, one of the greatest I, matches of that era. Calm down. Calm, calm down. I didn't hey, say he Hogan? didn't have a great match. Listen, let's make this shit clear, though. Listen, listen carefully. I'm, 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 I'm speaking clearly. I didn't say he didn't have a great match in the 90s. But let's not act like we started talking about his match catalog of this of a high degree in the 90s. We we didn't. We started doing that. Like in the mid two thousands, let's. So I don't let's know what you're talking about. My older cousins. I did. Love them. I didn't up. say he didn't have a great matches. I didn't say he no, didn't I'm have great matches. Talking about, no, talking about his caliber of matches. Hold on, hold on. True. true. I Real didn't quick. say. Would a, would a and, WrestleMania and plus, matches and, that great? True. They didn't really get great. No, to Randy Orton. it wasn't that. No, it That's wasn't. Cat. That being said, but, no, he he had a couple few, whatever. But listen, the point is this though: when it comes to this thing and all this weird, I don't like to say. Listen, it's weird hate for Sting. Sting was oh, when. You know what, what Sting when Sting was a, a, over, he was a face of a company in the eighties, bro. You know what Undertaker in was the doing? 90s. Finding his, huh? What'd you say? In the nineties. That's that what they call the franchise. Under, Sting, the Undertaker no, wasn't the Undertaker in no damn eighties. He was at WCW. Please, please, please make me. Please make me. We talking about Sting? Please, please, this, please, please. Let's finish the point. Sting was Sting was relevant from the eighties, nineties. 2000s, 2010s, into and into now, like that. I mean, you can say what you want to say about him, but like the man, listen, Sean. It took it took Undertaker a while to be who he became, though. Staying with a name before all those got every all the American wrestlers that we said we said he was a name before all those guys. Yes, like facts. the Undertaker in that in that generation in a generation. No, he wasn't. That is a fact. Because he was not, the franchise right, of WCW. He was all right, bro. bro all you right, guys bro. was not even in the generation, bro. They just they wasn't even in the WWE. Man, Mark Calloway was in WCW. What are we talking about? No, let me let me go with some shit. They misused him in the eighties. So he went to WWE. I didn't, he didn't. I didn't. I didn't say he wasn't misused, Ralph. I didn't say none. Of, I didn't. I didn't. You, Ralph. I know the history, Ralph. You know I know the history. Ralph. I didn't say. Well, if you, true. As you look I said up, it. Because you're saying a bunch of bull crap. Go ahead. Sir. As you as you as you Google it, um, I just want to bring it back one step. Just one step. You know what I'm saying? Back to the tag team thing. I didn't mention the heart, the house, the heart foundation. I didn't mention. I ain't mentioned a bunch of niggas, dog. Like, let's. Dan there's a lot of great tag teams out there, dog. Like, let's. let's Dan Bad did War Warriors. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't say that. You got. You got. Give. You got. Give me credit. They top five. No, they not. No question. Bro, bro that T, the TLC match with the with the Dudleys, Hardys, and Eddie Christian changed the game, bro. But I'm saying, do the do Eddie Christian? Why is Why is Eddie Christian above Hardys? They all in my top five. I'm gonna be real with you though. Like me personally though, like the Christian and Edge are better world rounded wrestlers than uh, uh, Matt Hardy underrated too though. Let's be real. No, Matt, Matt, Matt Hardy can wrestle his ass so what? I think Matt Barry and Jeff. I think uh, I'm probably Matt, Matt, I, I think move. Matt Barry and Jeff Hardy. I think yeah. Matt Barry. You know, Matt, Matt, Matt's a better technician. No, no bullet, no why. It's just no, Jeff. He's a hot player. It's not even. It's not even that though. He's more Matt Hardy is low key more creative. As and he can and he like, can do a promo better than Jeff. Better promo. Um, guy. For example, Matt Hardy low key changed the game, the business. That's why. That's why I be like when we talk about. I'm not trying to go back to it. The John Cena, why he, like it was other things that helped the wrestling business more than John Cena. For example, like Matt Hardy. And the reason why I think Matt Hardy is better than Jeff Hardy. I don't. And I think Ralph knows. This. Remember the broken gimmick, and he was doing in TNA when he was doing the um. The, the crazy, like, yeah, how they was filming matches, they cinematic the game, matches. Right? Yeah, they changed the game to a point where that AJ Styles and Undertaker match at WrestleMania got the influence to do that. Now you got like these cinematic they matches, brought, like, he, a, he changed it by bringing it back, but they had cinematic matches, before. yeah. You, but you, but listen, but he, he evolutionized it. First one, but no, I'm saying he, he evolutionized, evolutionized it, correct. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, so they. 
Cause you, you they had like the words. You had like the what some old yeah, gold dust and Roddy Piper. I've seen him. Yeah, he 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 definitely yeah. changed the game yeah. like y'all like you said. Like so, like the creativity, the broken gimmick. Like he look he low key though, cause he low key helped. They get that they reinvent themselves. They I remember that's when they they, they came back to WrestleMania. They was on like listen, bro, listen, this broken thing. They were that's like one of the biggest posts in, in wrestling history, bro. They was they was the hottest thing. They was the listen, bro. The broken gimmick was the fact that Vince McMahon dropped the ball in that is crazy. Like that yeah, was the no, hottest he didn't drop the ball. TNA would not get released the rights in time, bro. Well, that too, too. Well, they still could have done it though. I, I mean, whatever. No, nope, they couldn't, bro. The contract, bro. That's I mean, why he teased it. Was, and and, and yeah. Michael Cole on the mic was like, "Oh, he's broken. He's back." They can tease yeah, but it, time, but they can't fully use yeah. it. That's why it didn't work with yeah. Bray Wyatt like that. Yeah, it's a, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate, like, they lost steam like that. That's why TNA like, trying to make up now by partnering with WWE. Well, but was it Corbin? Billy Corbin owned that shit, though, to be fair. He was on some bullshit. Like, he was on – I think Billy Corbin was on some – at the. Well, I think Corbin was on the time, right? Billy Corbin. What, the game? And he was – no, remember he was on. He ran TNA at the time. Impact Wrestling. He he ran that at the time. I'm not, I, think I, 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 I still think it was uh, either way. The white dude. That's the white dude with the glasses, right? Yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah, no, yeah, nah, that's yeah, yeah. He he owned NWA now though. That shit trash. I ain't gonna lie. That shit. I ain't gonna. Oh. Lie. That shit garbage. I think it was Dixie Carter who owned it. I remember. I know. I remember the um. It was the, the big four was Vince. At one point, it was Vince, him, Paul, and um Eric Bischoff. Like they they were the they were the main promoters at one point. Nah, buddy, yeah, he now nah, Billy Corp. Now he just started becoming promoter. I think he's talking about somebody else. He's just started promoting. Like y'all remember when uh, like two years ago WWE teased man. the best when the best came out. Yeah, in the suit. This, this is a best story. This is a best story. This is a best story right here though. But he changed the game you know too. He turned down. You, you know he turned it. You know he turned a WrestleMania match down with Undertaker to stay with TNA. Like I forgot exactly what what WrestleMania was. I think it was like I'm like his loyalty is off the charts. I'm like, bro, you and turned down on be like a little brother. He was the Kane Kane you, little, you, little brother. You, I don't. That would be I'm not gonna lie to you. That's, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's, think, kind of, that's not. I'm not gonna lie to you. I understand loyalty and all, but like that's a dumb motherfucker. No. Nah, no, dog. <laughs> you see what AJ, you see what AJ that's did? Get <laughs> the fuck up out of here. Listen. I mean, shout out. Listen, hey, he. I mean, it took him a minute too to he, get he with the name. It took him a minute. Like, 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 Mr. TNA, AJ, Mr. Mr. TNA, AJ, Mr. TNA, AJ Styles Lord. did not turn down the opportunity. That's what I'm saying, true. Like, I understand loyalty, but fuck that. Like, nah, certain opportunities you don't turn down. But still, yo, he had one of the biggest pops too at Royal Rumble, yo. Yeah, AJ Styles is yeah. But like, that's not, you know, what? you know what I would have did for the Abyss. You know what a did for a bitch, man. Just fuck up out of here. Yeah, he turned down. Oh, he, he'll be like, in the Hall of Fame. Down. He'll be in the Hall of Fame. You turned you turn down. You in the TNA Hall of Fame, but you turn you turn I down. Fuck about that. What's he been doing now? Is he still in TNA? No, nah, he was. No, he, he in the WWE backstage he's producer. A producer. You producer. So he helping. So he helping. To, he clear doing a good job at it. He ain't get. He do, he doing a good job. So I mean, hey, you know who? You know who produced that Roman match? Who? Him? Bobby Roode. Okay. Bobby Roode. Damn, Bobby Roode underrated, though. I, I, dang, I want Bobby Roode. You know what? No, hold on. Time out. Let me talk about tag teams, bro. America most one is underrated, bro. Let, underrated as fuck. I know you're going to say bro. that shit was underrated, bro. Hell and underrated. underrated. And Bear Come on. Man, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. If you know, you know, my nigga. Like, what that about that, that faction with Kurt oh, Angle, Booker T, Samoa Joe, and them? Oh, the the main event mafia? Uh, main event mafia. Yo, main main event mafia. mafia. Y'all remember VKM? That shit yeah. was funny. I'm not gonna care. VKM yo, was funny as shit. Yo, they used to shit was, on um, American Mafia and um man, and uh man, and um Aces the Aces Eight, some shit like that. Yeah, Kurt, yo, Kurt Angle. I ain't gonna hold you. Kurt Angle was the greatest. Like that. I ain't, when you talk about peak. As a wrestler, I ain't go hold ain't live peaks up there with Perk Angle, man. I saw that you holiday deal. I saw it. What deal? 
What you mean? Oh, uh, he should be the extension. This early? They usually um, wait to the end of the season. I mean, he was eligible for it now. And he like his so, he um he opted out he opted on his last year in the deal to sign it. So so what you think about uh, um, NXT, the NXT uh roster? NXT is cool. NXT is cool though, but it ain't the same as old NXT when William Regal had like I ain't go like NXT is good. You are a hater. You are Ava hater, nigga. Hold on, I didn't I didn't say NXT wasn't good though, Ralph. See, here you go. Here you, that Rocky here you Perez, go. Man. I didn't say it wasn't good. I so, see hold her. So, hold on, what? So you don't? She might be on the. She might be on the main roster. Yeah. Hold on, would you? But you don't think peak NXT wasn't the black and gold era? You know what I'm talking about? That wasn't peak NXT. I ain't saying anything ain't good or great now. I'm just saying at that time period that that was Andrade, like that was a, a Samoa Joe, Sinsuke Nakamura. That was a Adam Cole. That was, they was. Yeah, yo, he he was, fucked up too, yo. Matches. He, he should never went to AEW. He fucked up. He, he went because he kind of they was trying to put him. They was trying to put him as a man. But to be fair though, they shot for him as a manager though. That was kind of crazy. Like he, but, you but, had, like, he couldn't he couldn't turn that into some gold. Do, do y'all see but him you, leaving that promotion? But, Rob, though, but, Rob, but, but hold up though, Rob. But if you if you if you are them cold though, right? If you Adam Cole and they trying and you mind if you killing it at NXT and he's talking about nope. Vince McMahon, oh you want to make you a manager? You never know how long he was going to be a manager though. Hey, could have been listen, one show, hey, could have been two shows. Hey, they listen, don't you like come on, bro. He yo, didn't even man, look at the story. Listen, I'll be, listen, I'll be man was terrible, bro. All right, was, this you know, man, before, before, before I step out, before I step out, um, if we did do that top 10, May Young would have been automatic top 10. That's why that's why I was special. That's crazy. May Young, that's great. What? But, no, but, listen, but, listen, bro, you, but you gotta bro. admit though, bro. You gotta this admit though, bro. Vince McMahon was holding the company back though, bro. You you gotta admit he was holding the company back, bro. Like, oh, the Rock I mean, just got some percentage to some more percentage of TKO today. Oh yeah, I'm surprised. Hey, shoot, when I'm surprised. Listen, hey, business boom, right? But and Vince only owned like five percent of TKO now. Oh, he sold it. Then he, then he had to sold it. Yes, he sold it. Right? They, no, I'm saying he only owned like five percent now. Oh, I thought he forced his ass out. Like they did, so they forced his ass out. They bought his nah, he, he still owns some shares, bro. But The Rock got the rest of his. Uh, he don't have no crib, but the point, yeah, but the point, yeah, but, the, but the point is though, like <laughs> Vince Man was holding that, holding dirt, like, they was, he was holding him back. I hope y'all know that after this shit, he might, he might get his shit back, bro. No, <laughs> no. He won't be. No, this is, this is a plan, hope. bro. He did this before. Gave up most of his shares. He got that shit back. See, see, see the boy Emmanuel that on TKO is good friends with The Rock and Vince. They knew this shit always going to come out, so they had a plan to to, to, to do what he did last time, bro. Relinquish your right, listen, listen, and then come back think, when you when when listen, everything listen. smoke is clear. Hold on, so you think he need to be part creative? No, it's not. He's not going to be in the creative. That's all, all, no all I'm saying. Listen, he's just going to have his shares back soon. Listen, I'm not even caring about the money. So, the, so it can be money. all one big conglomerate and f you to the fucking federal government and these motherfuckers on a witch hunt, bro. Man, because listen, they, if y'all read that, yo, the the chick had a love letter to Vince, and that shit is about to go to court, bro. The love letter. She she, no, she no, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this. this and I ain't gonna really talk about it because it ain't he, it ain't the place. If he if he guilty or not guilty, I think he's a piece of ish. I, even listen, I'm I argue this situation is kind of crazy, but he kind of he look it was a lot of things you know this, bro. And anybody know it was a lot of the things though he could have got locked up for, but whatever it is, whatever his case may be, um, I don't feel sorry for this big man. And, all, and and plus, forget that he was a bad person. Whatever, he was holding. He was holding. He was holding the company back. True, mm, I don't no think way. so. It's all about timing with, with Vince. Like on, Triple H is, was going to get this regardless, bro. He was about. He, on, right, look, Vince, Vince loved the shit out of Triple H, just like he loved his other kids, bro. Man, bro, Emma Stephanie and Shane was going to run this shit. With TKO and the Rock, bro, he was going to step back. 
regardless. Oh, so this shit, this shit just speed up the process. But my whole thing is that you saying that's all that, that's speculation, man. Because the reason why I'm saying that's speculation is because Trip Rage have shown what he can do in NXT and small. You know what I mean? He showed what he can do in NXT. And let's be it was a time when NXT was doing better than WWE, the main roster per se. Like they was they was killing it. And so I remember that they, they took Vision Man took some of the Trip Rage control on the main roster. When he came back, yeah, but he, I'm he, saying, he, how you saying the speculation when Vince before all this happened? It was either 2019 or 2020. Vince stepped away and was like, "Yo, hold this shit down." And HBK and Triple H left right. NXT, and they was running the main roster with with Devon Dudley and and, and and fucking uh Shane Helmsley and all and, them. Yeah. They was running the main roster, bro. Right, and they were doing the, my point is this though the fact he had to come back though. That's the no, he I, came I, back because he got bored, bro, at home man, and man. doing vacation and shit, bro. Nigga, you get you can still listen, it's prerogative, though. But you listen, it's not about that, bro. But you can be a part of something and not be the fucking you be a lead, bro. Like, like I don't listen, I don't if you want to cap for this man, that's cool. I'm not I, capping, I, I'm just saying, this is. Stuff that happened, or what you say allegedly, but you remember Triple H and HBK and D, like I said, Devon and, and Helms and Road Dog and all them was running the backstage, and, and and Vince ain't had no problem with it. It was some of Raw's yeah. high and SmackDown highest ratings. But and Paul thing, Heyman was, was back there. But, but let's not act like it wasn't a big deal though. Of who was going to run the company though, like when it comes to creative though. Let's not act oh, like it that was a big deal. Thing. When it comes to wrestlers making decisions on what they want to make a move, though, Ralph, that's why that's what I'm trying to tell you. That's the it only thing big, what you're saying that is factual that he did not let them be themselves. That's all I'm saying. And Triple H lets them be saying. themselves. Yeah. And that's I agree. All, I'm, I'm a Triple H. Yeah. I'm a Paul Levesque guy. Sad Triple H guy. I'm, I, and listen, I agree. I mean, listen. He listen. He's he listen. When it comes to creativity of what like the, what his job is, bro, he he made the pass that as a wrestler, and he was a great all time wrestler. Like he is, he's like, top twenty five. He's doing, up there, top fifteen. The point is, the point is, the job he is doing in the behind the scenes is is a, is 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 a, listen. He's it's remarkable. I mean, yeah. she she could have another Hall of Fame career where he's doing. Te- if you want to be honest. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. What he's doing is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I, that's I ain't got no ifs, ands, or buts about what you're doing. Is great. Know, but that's, that's, well, that's all I'm saying. Though. That's all I'm saying. I, I ain't saying Vince Man never had no type of creativity at all, though. Because listen, he had some great ideas. No, no. Him. What you were saying, he was stifling the talent by not letting yeah. them be them. That's why yeah. we got Roman Reigns, Roman doing that sucker, sucker, tear shit, yeah, and only John Cena getting yeah, yeah. over. I get you. I, I agree with you. You, you dig in. I said you this dig, before. That's why I said it. That's why I said James Hines was a company man because you listen. I'm not mad at John Cena. Right place, right timing. Do, do you like? Like I said, you grew it though. I'm, I'm mad mean, at man. him because he could have helped out a lot of dog. Like like when Casual was talking about something, we ain't had nobody. Nick, bro, we had Dolph Ziggler. Bro. Right, bro. Like I, he literally Dolph could really literally that. been the next HBK. Yeah. Let me let me address that too, bro. Like listen. And is what I said is it, and I'm not saying if you, if you think John Cena is we got what, trash, hey, what Joe J. Cole is not here, but what up, Lee? Oh, we got Lee in the building, man. Hey. <laughs> Jawad True to oh. King Lewis. That's crazy. <laughs> I, That's I am, crazy, I, I, I am very disappointed in you. I'm very disappointed. Why you say that, man? Why you say that be, Lee? Be, be, because, because of last night, how dare you? How dare you desecrate the name of Jermaine Cole? Yeah, how, 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 how dare you? He did it to his soul, dog. It, it, I, it, I it, the it, same it, thing was Kendrick. Hey, right, right, if it was Kendrick. I did the same. I did the same exact thing. I don't. I lo- listen. I like Kendrick. I like J Cole. Like I'm J J Cole still do. I still listen to the project. And, you know if, if if I. And, and, and you know me, I'm cold with information. So the second I find out Mac mm-hmm. Def's real name, I, I'm gonna. Address him by that, but he's he's over here talking about rat beefs, but yet he didn't he didn't want to talk about you know little Zane yesterday. He wanted to leave <laughs> him out. That 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 is just outrageous, you know. Yo, the little Zane exist. The little Zane exists, bro. 
Because he's like, why it seemed like he was here and like he did. You get it's, Lil Zane, like you, you, like I remember Lil Zane, but I like, don't. Like you get what I'm saying. If I'm, do I, am I the only one that feel that way? Yeah, it, he was. He was here in the blip, and he was gone in the blip. Right after that hardball movie, he was gone. Oh my gosh, you said hard. <laughs> don't, don't don't remind me. Don't remind. You remember me. the soundtrack? <laughs> uh, don't 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 remind me. I, I actually forgot about it until you brought it up. Thanks a lot, Ralph. I'm oh I'm sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, too. Let me plug in. Let me plug. Hey, new new podcast coming. Hold on. Let me. My fault. New podcast coming soon. FYI presents the crossover. Me, Sturdy, rebranding. H from the UK, Mariah, Hearn, Young Africa. Um, I'm forgetting anybody. Me, of course. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, you got this new, bum on your heavy, bro. It's just one of them. Listen, hey, come on, man. He he did a million. He did a million of merch though. WrestleMania weekend though. Can't say motherfucker. Hey, hey now, bro. We can't hate on that though. But this is this is one of the, this is one of the things though. They got this logo too. Listen, hey, F- that, is that, is that a new podcast? True. Yup. Pop. We talk all sports. All set. Hey, listen, Saturday. Yup. Stay tuned Saturday on FR Sports. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Stay tuned. Oh, wrestling podcast coming too soon on Sunday. Hopefully, we can do it Sunday. Who? What podcast? Um, um, the the crossover podcast is this Saturday, so 5 p.m. Eastern time. Is we talking all sports? Yeah, so what, what's basketball? Bo- what, what's what's the pa- what's the podcast Sunday? Oh, we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk professional wrestling. It's gonna we doing a professional wrestling podcast. Well, me, Ralph. SB casual and rebranded. We're gonna be talking professional wrestling, so that's gonna be dope. Hey, um, first of all, um, we Shaquille, Shaquille, first of all, Shaquille should be banned. You should <laughs> exclude him. I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, his favorite his two favorite wrestlers, actually three of them, are back is Bastion Booger, Joint the Clown, and Midian. So therefore, he doesn't get, <laughs> Midian. He doesn't get to talk about, about wrestling. The Midian so he is excluded. I know. Dang. I know Midian. And they call him Ventura. He called him Midian. Damn, that that that's fit. Fin- no, that's the other dude, though. No, that's the white. That's the white dude with the tattoo. Fin- when, when he was known as Phineas Godwin, that that that's that's SB's favorite wrestler. Right. So so therefore he can't talk. He can't talk. So 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 you should exclude him and, and replace him with me. True, honestly. Mm, that don't sound like a bad idea. But, no, I'm saying like he, he brings the comical side and the and the knowledge. Like Lee, Lee, Lee Duke is, is a knowledgeable guy. But, he man, I, 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 he honestly, just be too busy, man. Well, that too. But honestly, I've not watched wrestling really since the Attitude Era. So, you know, I mean, I know. Yeah, that being said, Lee, I ain't going to hold you. I ain't going to hold you, Lee. I mean, um, with that being said, the wrestling is, kick, is picking up. It's, it's getting interesting. If you I know, thought it's it getting more. It get, it get more mainstream now. You notice it's more getting more mainstream attention and things of that nature. So I, yeah. I recommend it. I I'll recommend give it. it a, I, I, I'll, I'll probably give it a second shot. But I, I know I know it's mainstream because I saw what's his face on there. I show speed in WrestleMania. Oh yeah, you I, get, I get went RK. Getting get the RKO. Yeah, I went to WrestleMania uh, Sunday, uh, Lee. It was, it was in Philly. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. It, what was it? What is? What was it? The fortieth anniversary. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. I know. Undertaker came back. That I saw. But hey, you know, you know what's absolutely insane, true, and Ralph. Yeah. That Undertaker has a podcast. That is insane. I never watched it yet. I never watched it yet. That's it's all insane. clips. It, it's it, it's if you would have told me ten years ago, hey, you know, once Undertaker retires, he's gonna have a podcast. I would have just looked at him like you need that. right. And he, he articulate with it too, Lee. He real he's smart. A, he's a good he's a good talker. Though. I'm not even no, surprised. By no, him, I'm not, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I know he's a good talker. It's just I just couldn't picture him. 
and a podcast in the same sentence. I just yeah, like really that. wanting to talk, like like how LeBron is. Like we couldn't picture that either. I, you know what, Rob? I I could picture LeBron in a podcast just just because he's one of the few people who doesn't mind talking to you know the media. Yeah, but I'm saying like they they, they them two guys are like two one of the most private guys. Like everybody got speculations about them, but really don't know them. You know what I'm saying, Lee? Like, I'm sixty years old is crazy. I'm telling you, sixty years old is crazy too, though. Yeah, that makes sense, Rob. Yeah, that is that is, you know, that is crazy. But he doesn't look like he's sixty. That's the thing. Yeah. He's fifty nine. He's fifty nine. He about yeah. Yeah, yo. When I seen yeah. him, yo, he looked the same, bro. Yeah, yeah. I heard. Um, I heard it was a good WrestleMania. Yeah, over two hundred thousand people both nights together. It was seventy six the first night, and seventy two the second night. And then on Monday Night Raw, they had another twenty thousand, and the other show on Saturday had uh, twenty thousand. So that's almost like two fifty yeah, all together. That's man, we a hey, the week. Listen, man, they they got a formula. What's the name? Weekend. They got a formula. I ain't gonna lie though, because like I, I wasn't a fan of the two match. I wasn't a fan of the uh, two nights, two nights things. But business business wise, it makes a lot more sense. Got hey, you know he copied it. They low key copy of the New Japan Wrestle Kingdom. They did the two nights, or whatever. But like how WrestleMania do it is a little bit better because it's more of an experience per se. If you go there, so what WrestleMania like, is two nights now? Yeah, ever since the pandemic, because they they was wrestling in a uh uh what was that a uh, warehouse? They were planning doing now. They were planning doing it anyway though. Remember they had a, they canceled it. It was two nights anyway. Remember they canceled it. Then it became the um. Be right though, because it was like they had a can. Remember they canceled the 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 the. the no, the one that Tampa, Tampa was one night. They, sure? they did two nights the next year in Tampa. Twenty nineteen, right? That's the twenty twenty. That's twenty twenty, right? Uh, twenty twenty one. They did the two nights because yeah. uh twenty twenty it was canceled. Yeah. But like it makes sense for them to do that. Cause like I said, you got Friday night SmackDown, you got a whole of it. Like it's smart to do it because like they really take over a city. It's like All Star Weekend on steroids. Yeah. Hey Lee, because the city of Philadelphia made nine hundred million off that WrestleMania, bro. That's more than that's more than NBA. That's more than NBA All Star Weekend they probably did for Indiana. I bet. Oh my and, that, and, that, and that's not counting the outside stuff like the Russell Kinds and all, the world. Hold that's that's talking about WrestleMania period. And that's what I'm saying too. And that's why I was saying like the John Cena thing, right? And we were saying earlier, like, and like I listen. I know, well, Rob, I understand you don't like. We, I think, cause we think we had these conversations before. I think you respect that John Cena's a wrestler and where he, you know, what I mean, he, he put in work. Yeah. But like when people say people, and like I said, we have the top five, cool. But like wrestling was in a very dry spot. It's not in the wrestling business, period. And it wasn't just not, and I'm, I, when I'm talking about Roman Reigns per se, it wasn't just Roman Reigns per se. Though I just saw wrestlers around the world, period, putting blood, sweat, and tears to bring wrestling to a different spot. John Cena didn't even do that. Yeah, and wrestlers Cody are Rhodes, wanting to learn Cody how to Rhodes, talk now. Even even Cody Rhodes, let, and let's keep it. Let's keep on where you stay. Cody Rhodes makes a pass. John like Cody Rhodes did more. Like when it comes to helping bring wrestling to a so a certain point. But like Cody Rhodes or not, he is he is helping elevating the business more than John Cena ever did. You get what I'm saying? So it's like because, like I said, at the time when you when you burying people and stuff like that, like come on now, I, we don't we ain't gonna never have that problem ever again. Because I don't think Cody will have no problem putting people over. It's Cody. I mean, Roman yeah. Reigns will have no problem putting people over. and people get mad at that too. Though listen, people get mad at that. Roman Reigns don't put people over like he put he put Jay, first of all, he lot. put Jimmy over. He put Jimmy over. Put the so, whole family over. But it's so not true. even exactly. Yeah, what up? So 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 Cody Rhodes is more over than Al Snow. <laughs> more definitely. That's hilarious. <laughs> Shout out to Al Snow though. What do people want? Hey. <laughs> but Cody, listen, but Cody, listen. Shout out to Cody Rhodes though. I'm I am curious on what the next chapter is gonna be though. I am curious on that because any of y'all watching that Denver Minnesota game real quick? Yeah. 
Yeah, I may check it out. I'm watching it a bit. It's on ESPN Lee. Yeah, I just I just got home, so I'm probably gonna check it yeah, out. I'm not, my John, my John loaded. It, I had it on Earth. About well, forty three three Minnesota. Speak speaking of the, the NBA, the the West is outrageous. I mean, the Lakers literally three nights ago went from the eighth seed to what? What are they now? Tenth. See the standings right now for you. The only way they could avoid the play. In no, they're not. They're not. No, they're not. They they okay. They got to win out. What did they have? Four games left? I think so. They, they, yeah, because the 40 work. Yeah, four games left. They're 45. I mean, yeah, they're, they're 45 or 35. 45. They have okay. A game. They have game away from the um, AFC. Uh, wait, they're 45 and 35? Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, hold on. That's eighty-two games. Well, that, that's eighty games. So they only got two games left. Dang. Yeah. Okay. So so they got to win their last two, and they got to hope seeds six through eight all lose their last three or four games in order for the Lakers to avoid the play in. But but that's not going to happen. So it's inevitable. Lakers might as well just prepare for the play in. And all of this, yeah. all of this because. One, Darvin Ham, for whatever reason, waited until the, this la the, the, the last month to, to put in a competent starting lineup, number one. And then number two, they got swept by uh, Sacramento. Yeah, Sacramento, a uh, half game up. Well, a game yeah, up. Here's th- right, but here's the thing, too, though, right? Here's the thing, too. Um, um, it's not even, they was gonna be a playing regardless. So the thing is though, get out that ninth seed because you gotta play two playing games. You if you get in that eighth, you only win one, one playing game, you get to rest more. Now if you're in the ninth and tenth seed, you got you have to win two, you have to win two games, and you're gonna be on the road for that second one if you're the Lakers. Mm. So, I mean, that's the thing too, though. I don't think, I mean. And they was definitely wasn't gonna get that six C whatever. That was I mean at this point I mean, they can get the seven C though know. if uh Suns yeah. lose and, and the uh Kings keep losing these last couple of games. Yeah, but a lot of them got being people favors too though. You got you can't you got they got they just gotta worry about winning games too. So it's like you gotta worry about winning games and other things you can't control. Yeah, you gotta worry about gold state too. Hey, if the if the Bucks are smart. I don't know how many games the Bucks have left. Or is it three or four games they have left? The Bucks are smart. Giannis is not playing the last four games of the season. Give him rest. Because he's very fortunate that it was just the soleus muscle. That 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 they got two that, games that, left, Lee. Okay. Don't even play him. I, I don't care how high the stakes are. Don't play him. I'm gonna be rid of it. But that, that injury is concerning though, because we saw KD a similar injury and in, yeah, hopefully he don't. Hopefully he don't. Hopefully he don't tear his Achilles, whatever though. But that that's what I'm saying. Because like, he, it's been the, he, he, y'all have been dealing with this calf injury too, though. Like, right? yeah, I had, I, I've actually had that injury before when you pop your soleus muscle. That that's what Giannis did. He he, he popped it and strained it. So if I'm if if I if I'm the Bucks, I'm not even letting Giannis near a basketball court for like. A week. I don't do it here, Hill. Couple weeks. It's, it's a grade one. It's a grade one. So it's one oh, so you don't have to get surgery? No, no, but no. It's one to three weeks, though. But, like, that being said, though, you go in and try to rush it, though. And that being, listen, we've seen KD. They say it was a grade one with KD did his, right? And next thing you know, and remember, it was, it was Achilles. So, I mean. Yeah, but I'm saying, well, Giannis, like, them three weeks, four weeks are gonna pay off because the playoffs not gonna start that soon because you got the playing. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's right. Yeah, but we seen. But remember, KD rushed like that too. He got. Remember, he he's got not him. rushing because of the play-in and these last two games. He's not rushing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For K, I'm saying if you listen, it's a, it's still a serious injury. To, you know what I mean? Because we saw KD came back like that. He remember he missed games. He missed and and, and remember he took a rest. Um, he didn't play that whole Western Conference Finals. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He can take games out of the playoffs too. 
They just gonna have to learn how to win without it. Come back like game three or four, you'll be good. Yeah, if they stay in the, in the race. True. I'm not asking a I'm lot sure. for them. True. I gotta ask you a question. Depending what they, depending what they playing, they play in the six, you ask for a lot. We don't, we don't leave. Who are the Patriots drafting? Hopefully, uh, Jaden Daniels. Hopefully. I mean, I've been seeing mixed reports talking about he didn't have a good meeting on, the, on Washington, the commanders. But, I mean, I'm cool with Drake May, Marvin Harrison Jr., any of those three, to be honest with you. Okay. That, that That's fair. And going back to the NBA, I was looking at this upcoming draft. It's not as deep in terms of names, but it's deep in terms of talent. I think this is going to be an underrated class. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, Lee, you saying there's more team needs than uh, best players? Yeah, I, I think I think this year th there's more depth th this year in terms of um, specific team needs as opposed to players who have in, – in terms of players who – are already stars or have a big name. Like last year was clearly a better draft when it comes to, you know, big names. Clearly. Like, no, that, that's not even up for discussion. Not even a debate. Facts. It's not even a debate. This year, I, I think you could get more quality depth. And there could be a breakout player who has Hall of Fame potential in this year's draft. The only one I can think of that comes to mind is probably Alexander Saar. Um, he's probably the only one. Um, and my opinion, he could be like a top three pick. I think he may go number one, but we'll see. But this year's has more quality depth per se, where last year was bigger on names. So we'll we'll, we'll see. I, I think it's going to be interesting. I, I think there's a potential. I think eight seven footers can be drafted in the first round alone. Dang. Mm hmm. Yeah. Ain't that's the record? <clears throat> Could be. But you have a lot of seven footers, but your your seven footers today, they're not seven footers of the past. Like these seven footers, yeah. they all have guard skills. That's scary. That's a scary sight, yo. Like one player that I've that I've really been paying attention to, I think he'd be a good fit on on the Cavs. His name's Khalil Ware from Indiana. He actually went to Oregon last year, transferred to, to Indiana, and improved his draft stock tremendously. You you pair him and Evan Mobley together, I mean, that that would be some problems. But I'm just what, what is he? he? He's a center. He's a center. He's seven. He's seven one. He got guard skills. A little bit. He he's more so a hybrid. He's a little bit more traditional. Well, he had to play traditional Indiana because he's so. Well, we getting rid of Jared Allen. Oh my gosh! If, if the Cavs <laughs> get clear, what? Yeah, oh yeah, Jared, Jared Allen's gone. Like he, he's you crazy. sold me, Lee. You sold me. Because he, Jared Allen. He's a good ball handler. He he's a very good perimeter shooter. Good three point shooter. Good jump shot. Um, he he was forced to play like a traditional. Center just because he, he just because he, he went to Indiana this year. So um and even though they weren't in the uh March Madness, they were in the NIT and, and he did well there. So um so that and then there's one the, un, the only other player I've been really paying attention to is really Alexander Saar. Um so it'll be intriguing to see where he's gonna go. Dang he two forty two. Yeah, he's like seven one seven two. So they said his uh, comparison is Brooke Lopez to Alexander Saar, probably a more athletic version. No, Khalil Ware. Oh, actually. Khalil Ware. Yeah, yeah, pro yeah, probably a more. He, he's a more athletic version. So, so I, I probably agree with that. But, but it's going to be. And T Street, you're right too. He is a rim runner, but he is a he is actually a, a good. Uh, three point shooter as well. He just he just wasn't asked to do that in Indiana. Um, but 
we'll see. I'm just intrigued by those two players in particular in the draft. That's that that's coming up. Every everyone else, granted, the the draft is usually a crapshoot, but those are the two players I'm focused on the most. Oh, he's French. I, I was in. Yeah, he, yeah, he's French. Yeah, he's French. Yeah, and then sorry, he's the best in the draft, though. Yeah. No, nah, he can't go to Washington. Yo. I mean, shit. My, I mean, I mean, look at it, look at Washington. I mean, Washington could get that number one pick. True. I have a funny feeling that one team is going to get the number one overall pick again. It can't be the Spurs, bro. I, bro, I, I just have a funny feeling it's going to be the Spurs again. I, I, I don't know why. I, I agree with you. It can't be and it shouldn't be. Spurs can get that number two. They, even they get a number two pick, though. I can see that. They, they can That'd be disrespectful to the pick. Thunder, yo. They got all them picks, bro. You probably got to trade some of them at this point, though. Right. I'm not trading none of that. How many do they have? Like 30 more than draft. Yeah, so I'm like that. Shoot. Here's the thing. You got to trade. I mean, you can't keep all the young talent. Like, you got you to gotta pay them. So it's like, yeah. yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. true. How, how do you feel about – how do you feel about this? And hear me out about this. So I was thinking, because the Celtics already have Jason Tatum at the four, which you know, I've told you this a few times, true, that, that burns me alive. I can't stand it. I don't like it. So I was thinking, what if – do the Celtics have a first-round pick this year? Yeah, we got the 30th pick. Okay. Let's just say the Celtics decided to um, use that pick and not trade out of it. Um, I was thinking, what if the Celtics drafted a legit power forward? Like, what if they drafted seven foot? Greg Nelson late in the first round, or better yet, seven foot uh, Kyle Flapowski from Duke. Put them at the four. So you have Przingis, seven three, the center. You have either Nelson or Flapowski. Both of them are seven feet, the power forward position. You move Jason Tatum back to the three. You have Jalen Brown. Then you have, um, 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 Drew Holiday, and then you have Derek White come off the bench, and then you have Bauer. Then you have they probably can get a small forward uh, via free agency. I I got to see who's available. You have Al Horford, and then you have Tillman, and that could be your I mean, your ten man rotation. What do you think honest. of that? I mean, I, I think if we if we did, if you got the third pick, pick the best player available at that point. I mean, because Jason, I mean, Jason took at the four. It, it's not technically his true position, but at the end of the day, what is a power forward nowadays anyway? I mean, that being said, I mean, listen, he clearly he's having his. I mean, clearly, I mean, but then you got like you say, you got Jalen Brown. And Jalen Brown is more of a power, small. He's more of a small forward anyway. So I mean, I don't mind Jason Tim as power forward because in the, the day, he plays more small forward anyway. Um, I mean, he he goes back and forth depending on the lineup. So, but whoever the best player available at that position at the pick, really you go get him because like because like Derek, I don't Derek like I said Derek White, he's not coming up the bench anytime soon, especially the contract he's gonna get. Drew Hard, I see Drew Hard it definitely come off the bench, you know, even with that contract extension. I think if he can play, it all depends too. Remember, we can't forget about Jordan Walsh. Um, developing on him, Jordan Walsh, Tillman. So I think the thing is, we have technically we have power forwards though. Like Tillman, he's a center, he's on the side center, but he really he can play he can play power forward. Um, so. I, and I like his development. He's showing he can hit this three point shot. So, or you could trade, or you could trade Jason Tatum for Harrison Barnes straight up for Jason Tatum that's for uh, Jordan Full. <laughs> that's crazy. True. Like I I said, you, you'll stop yeah, being a fan. Yeah, that's what. 
But like even like this is a power forward thing. Like I said, it's, I mean, if it was back in the day, maybe. But let's even listen. Like Jason Tatum at power forward gives us an advantage though, because he they got four forward. first round draft picks. I mean three. Who? Who? The Thunder. They got uh the Clippers, Houston, and Utah. Good gracious. Homes, you might as well try to trade up. And 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 when you was talking about Kyle, that made me think because uh he he projected to go to Utah early. Who? Kyle Kaplapowski. Kaplapowski. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't. It, I don't know. It's just something about me and uh, it's, it's it's something about generational talents going to trash organizations. It, 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 it's, it's, it's just, it's just I, I get it, but it's one thing if they were drafted organically. They're okay, I get it, but when the draft is so rigged, that that just bothers me. Like I, I like I told Lamont this: two two most rigged drafts in NBA history. Last year in the O three draft, the biggest rigged draft. I knew you. Now that Patrick Ewing, that Patrick Ewing draft was nasty. Word. Oh, okay, okay, that okay, that that one, that one's that up there too. Nasty. But. Everybody knew, but even the, the but even that everyone though, knew. Spurs not a knew bad, the, yeah. True, everyone knew the Cavs yeah. were getting that number one overall pick that that year. LeBron was yeah. eligible. That that was that was so rigged. How many LeBron's first round picks guy. they get in that era? You said what, Ralph? I'm sorry. Uh, uh, then they then they had like three first round picks in that era from 2003 to. Uh, Andrew Wiggins and um no, so it was it was so it was oh three it was just LeBron, and yeah, then when I LeBron was left, LeBron left the twenty tens. It was Kyrie, Anthony Bennett, Andrew Wiggins. So in the twenty tens, it was three. But you're true, right. I I get it with uh, yeah, you're right about that, Ralph. True, I get it with Vic. Wouldn't be going to San Antonio, but everyone knew that Spurs were getting number one overall pick. That yeah, was so and weird. like I said, they generational t- and listen. And LeBron going to Cleveland, and granted, I mean the first stand didn't work out, but he did make them a contender though. So it's like, yeah, I mean we, I mean, if you're a generation of talent, you do help a franchise out to a certain degree. So I mean, yeah, yeah. I just, I just don't like I mean, the job. Rigged more so than anything. I, I think that's just my biggest gripe. It's like, come on. Like, I get it. Like, I, I, I wish they would just get rid of the lottery and just say, hey, look, worst team like the NFL gets the first pick. But if you're actively trying to tank, if you're actively trying to tank, then there's going to be some repercussions behind it. No, but, I don't know about that. I don't know about I mean, I, uh, that gets crazy, though, too, because it's like, yeah, I'm sure with lottery teams. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though, because that's gonna get nasty. Cause lottery goes to 15 teams, though, and it's like those teams in the higher up you gotta worry about in the lottery. Cause like I said, a 15 pick and a 10 pick, that's a big difference depending on the draft. So it's like it can get na- it can get nasty. If people try to manipulate. It can now people gonna start manipulating playing the plan. I think it's perfect now because the plan the plan kind of makes it perfect. Where the lottery makes sense now because now it's like okay, cool. Like, true, you like the playing. I've I've never. I've just always. I think the playing is cool because like I'm be real. I mean, I think it's it gets more into it, we now at the end of the season per se. It's it's more excitement. It's like oh man, like who gonna make the playoffs? Like I said, the Warriors are the tenth seed, and. Granted, any other year, they, I mean, before the plan, they wouldn't make the playoffs, but they have opportunity and chance. That's kind of that is exciting because we've seen situations where we looked at ninth or maybe ten seeds, and maybe look some of people may look at those teams better than those seventh or eighth seeds. So, and like and playing no game, playing games has been entertaining. I'm not gonna lie, I, I was a fan of it at first though, but I mean, hey, I mean, I don't know. I I rather see Jordan Poole than than, than Luca. But you know that. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with you, though. Lee. They need to get rid of that lottery because it's not going to the right people. Here's the thing, and, 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 and people, and, and I've heard people okay. say, "Well, it prevents teams openly taking." No, it does not. 
the Pistons did everything in their power to get the number one overall pick last year. And it still didn't work. And they're doing it this season. They're doing it this year. So yeah, it was like, you, you might as well go that NFL route because teams are going to find a way to manipulate the system just to get that number one overall pick. They're going to do everything in their power to tank. It's just inevitable. It's like, you might as well go back to go to the NFL format because at least the, war, the worst of the worst team, at least they get the first pick. Yeah. Oh yeah, so let me. Oh, oh yeah, I just, I just saw this news too. Nate Robinson is fighting for his life. He's, he needs a kidney, like bad. So he don't know how many, how long he gonna he don't got much time to live because he don't he needs a kidney. So prayers up to Nate Robinson. That's kind of scary. Yeah, I just saw you. That's that's wild. That's 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 definitely just definitely wild. Dang. I'm out. Sheesh. I saw it. Dang. Um, yeah, the lottery change. I mean, I don't know. I mean, we'll see, man. I don't I mean, my, well, my, cause, hey, I don't think the lottery is the end all be all though. So I don't think that. I don't think it's not. I don't know. We'll see. Because it's all about picking the right choices, too. That's the problem. Okay, if we don't make the great choices, we're gonna keep having these problems in the lottery. So um Yeah, but you don't have a chance of picking the right people when the when the when the uh when the team that shouldn't even be right there getting the player. So, like, there's no way the Spurs bro, the Spurs been tanking, bro. And no one wanna talk about that. Oh yeah, what do you call it? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah a lot they, of teams. There's a lot of teams have been taken. Yeah, they, they 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 were taken again this year. Like like y'all y'all may get on me when I'm talking about when I be like, oh he's overrated and all that great pop, but these last ten years, other than that Kawhi year and and uh and well well that D Rose that D Rosen year, bro, he been taken for the past like six seven years, bro. Yeah, there's a lot. Hey, he got he got Victor Wembanyama though, so he get this somewhere. No, but that's 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 not the point. Like he he don't get fined for nothing, bro. But you just find Joel and B and them for the second time this season talking about the injury list. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah but no, no, Tom, Tom, the 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 about the Spurs have been got fined for that shit though. Like they've been fined multiple times for that shit though. I ain't never seen no 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 the rules uh, NBA news. The rules, the, 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 the rules changed. The rules changed because like the Spurs, what the Spurs were doing back in the day, though, bro. The, this to be fair, like I understand. Bro, we're saying, talking bro. about recent history, bro. They ain't been fine in the 2010s, bro. But they ain't nothing. really done. They ain't really done nothing. What do you they mean really he been taking? Fine, he been taking, bro. Stop it. Listen, listen, here's the thing, bro. You can't he had compa- He had nice rosters that could at least make a play in or something. Hold, on, could hold be- on, You can't blatantly, you can't blatantly tank. I'll say Yes, that. you can I'm blatantly tank. You, you you're not listening. You're, missing, you're not making what I'm saying. You can't blatantly tank and make it obvious that you're tanking. Like the dude, like the old GM for the Sixers did, bro. You can't just do shit like that, bro, because. He's blatantly sl- tanking I mean, right in, in our eyes. I'm not Red saying it's not tank. Listen, you are you are you thinking I'm saying he's not tanking? No, you say he's he's not blatantly doing it. Blatantly doing it. He is. Listen, listen. If you know what he listen, you, you this is what I mean by that. Like to a point where if that point where he can get fined, that's what I mean by blatantly tanking. Because, um, or that. I mean, listen. I mean, man, David Stern would have like, just fined him. It's loophole. Listen to hey, maybe, maybe not, but it's loopholes, bro. You can't get mad. At but, you, but you will find the Detroit or Washington Wizards, though, but not him, bro. Greg been getting away with a lot of stuff these past this past decade, and no one want to talk about. It. Bro, you get bro. You, but here's the thing: like, what do you mean getting away? With? He didn't have teams good enough to win championships. He did have team good, oh. bro. You're. you're you, come on, bro. He has denied. They can make, he at least made the, before the play in 
he he had teams to make the eighth seed, the seventh seed, bro. Bro, some of his teams was better than a, a couple of them Lakers teams that snuck into the playoffs, bro. Stop it. When what Lakers team you talking about? What do you mean when uh when we had Russ? I'm not going that. Yeah, last though. Russ year before I'm before uh he got traded that year. I I do I do say this though, like at the end of the day though, Robert, him him getting Victor Wembanyama though, and then he can. I mean, don't that's setting the precedent for them though. It's not a precedent to do it. Like okay, if they're he get a top, he going to get a top five pick, the top two pick right, this season again. He gonna get a top. Five. He gonna at least at least at least he gonna at least get a at the at the like the he's gonna get at least a a, a top five. That is a, a, yeah, and he's blatantly taking this season. Bro, bro, what bro, his lot of adjustments. This weird. This weird. Shit. This weird. This weird hate for Greg Popovich, bro. It's crazy. Oh, it's not no hate or weirdness, bro. He's blatantly taking the season, bro. They could have beat the season no. for a spot. Man, so, so you telling me they that they, the Rockets bro. are that much better than them? Why did it make sense, bro? Why did it make sense? Why did it make sense for them to be doing that? Do that though. And with that being said, to too, rebuild his team his into a new era. Okay, what's wrong with that? What do you mean? What's wrong with that? He's tanking, bro. On purpose. So is the Rockets better than think, but, San Antonio? Is the, the Rockets part, better than San Antonio? Yes or no? Yes, yes. No, yes, they got a better yeah. team. The, the roster construction not even great, great on on San Antonio. Like they got a. Are you, are you saying Kel, they got the best? Kelvin player? Johnson, all, all them guys, and, and all them guards are nice, bro. Stop it. But the, the, the point is, the point is, the point is this though, bro. Are you you? I really, if your your point is valid, if he's going to keep on doing it, like I don't understand your point. You're trying bro, to make. He's it's not going to either this that. year or next year will be his last year tanking to get his final piece, and he's going to start trading you know, dudes how you to know fill in the piece. You can't, you can't necessarily do. Here's the thing: Victor Wembanyama could be listen. This this let's be Victor Wembanyama could be a top ten. And you know, first of all, we don't. Victor Wembanyama is a generational talent. You can't waste time on. After this year was the rookie year, okay, fill out process, cool. Next year, you're gonna have you're gonna try to at least compete and see where y'all at as the team. I don't think they're gonna just tank per se or keep like a process of like you can't waste Wimby years though, bro. Like he's how you wasting years, you wasting years there's only 19. You could take you could take till it's 20 to Not, 21. No, but but when you have a generation of talent like that, and let's be real, like I don't think nobody'll be surprised if Victor's a top 10 player next year, right? Like I don't think that that's because he could be a top ten player. Don't mean the team can't still suck around him. But with that being said, would that be that's, that's boosting his that profile? Said, but when you have a top ten player on a rookie deal like that, it's going to be you going to have you going to be more incentivized to build around that player. Correct? If he's a top ten player, this fast because they can make they can they can make they can make moves to make that team better. Right? We can all agree. Consensus. You talking about tanking and all that shit, right? Can, okay, cool. They can make moves to make the team better, so they can, you know what I mean? To because that, that's another point too. Yeah, they athlete. can make they can make little moves to look to like they compete and they still to, tank. To your point, to, 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 to your one point. more year. Well, no, but I'm on point is though, like if you have a top ten player on your team at that point, shoot, you can try to at least make a good, great playoff run. At the end of the day, I mean, listen. Uh, if we then look at their record too, by the way, and they also beat good teams too. Though. I'm not listen. That being the Spurs, they listen. They don't get to it. They definitely a take though, but it ain't like they um they not, they not getting that. They're not getting first pick next year though. So I, I like I'll I'll say that they don't get a top five, the top five, the top three pick. They're nowhere getting that right. because Pistons and Warriors. Pistons got thirteen, won thirteen games. And uh, Wizards won 15, and Wizards and the Hornets won 20 games. There's no way. Hey, the Hornets uh, won no less games. Didn't the Hornets win uh, less games than Spurs last year? Almost. I really don't know. But I'm just, but I'm just, but the same time too, the Wizards and the and the Detroit won way more or less games. Like they only won. They yeah, won and Detroit should have got that number one pick last season. Let me double check, bro, because. You keep talking about this hate thing, bro. He's doing, yo. He he's strategic. I'm not, he, but here's the thing: he ain't been with the organization not, that long. But nobody's saying he's not. Nobody's saying. But nobody's saying he's not janking. You just it's like, bro, like he, the he league is letting him do that. But if it was another team, other team doing other team is <laughs> thinking too, though. 
Detroit didn't come on. Detroit fucking Detroit come with it, bro. The weather, the bad with the weather. Yeah, the weather didn't, like, but didn't Detroit get fined this season though? Nah, I ain't see nothing. Detroit get fined this season. They may got fined when when, when fucking Monty Williams starts saying that shit about fouls and shit like that. But ain't but they ain't even thinking about the about the, the games per se. And Detroit be fucking terrible, bro. Detroit do running line now. They if you're talking about a team that blatantly taking tanking, is Detroit fucking pit like they they do they do blatant shit like shit for no like my Monty Williams got there and talked about he didn't know what Jaden Ivy was as a player. Like that's crazy, like. And speaking of that too, um, Spurs won twenty two games. Spurs won twenty two games, and Pistons won seventeen. Horns won twenty seven. The Rockets won twenty two. I don't think. I don't think the Rockets had their own. The Rockets had their own pick. I don't think. I don't think Rockets had that. What well, they say, did the Rockets had the high? Well, this pick season, and the fourth this pick. Season. Last, no, last, this, last season. I was about to say. The last, the Rockets had the 22. That's, that's, that's about right. They had a 22. They had 22 wins. The, the only team that had less wins than them was the Pistons. So it's like, I mean. So you're not going to get the Detroit granted, number one granted, ever? Gr- gr- granted, though, right? Granted, though, right? I do agree that, you know what I mean? Hey, shit. Spurs, Rick, they would be on. I mean, we understand that, right? I ain't. I mean, I ain't gonna sit there and say that, but Tim Duncan, the Admiral. Come on, man. Yeah, I'm not. They, they had that video queued up already. Wait, they had that shit since last season, bro. So his logo fire though, when beyond the two though. It, I don't know if y'all see his logo. It's that alien Nike joints. It's that's that's on hard though. Probably what do you got stickers now? Logo. Now nah, it's a logo. They 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 put the logo out there now. You know the Nikes. They got the logos. You know what I mean? Or the, the wow. Africans. Man, Mavericks and Clippers first round. I think it's official now. You said Mavericks and Clippers. Yeah. Mm. Bye bye, Luca. Hey, bro. No, no, no. You, you, you root for the Clippers and say, you hate for Luka, you're going to hate for, you going to root for the Clippers. Who rooting for the Clippers? I'm just saying by Luka. Man, you, so you think Clippers, man, I ain't going to hold you, bro. I think, nah, man, I think, man. Oh, they, they got three and a half superstars, bro. Dude, come on, man. You know, you know, you know, you know damn what well that's, you know damn what well that, you know well that, well that don't mean nothing. I don't know why you said, like, you, you, that means something, though. And you Paul George has been playing this season. You ain't like Kyrie. Ain't Kyrie ain't playing this season though. Like, bro, who's going to guard Paul George, bro? Not no, not no Hardy, hey. not no Hardaway, not hey. no, none of them two guards. Derrick Jones, Jones, Jr. So who got Kawhi? Who's going to watch it? Who got Kawhi? They're not starting. They I'm they talking about starting lineups. PJ Washington is starting. PJ Washington is starting. PJ and Derrick hey. Jones, Jr. is the starters, bro. So that's the center, Derrick Jones. Three and three and four, and Derek Lively is the center. I said Derrick Jones Jr. Derrick Jones Jr. No, Gaffer started. Derek Lively come off the bench. Gaffer started. So we Washington. got we got Kawhi. We got uh you PG. Said we. This is nasty. This is nasty work you're saying we. Bro, this you know what work. I mean when I'm saying we. I know what you mean, but it's nasty work you hear saying hearing that though. It's nasty work. Hard and Kawhi. What is it? Zubak, right? Yeah. Who they two guard? Terrence Man. Oh, he's starting. Uh, he he gonna have a hell of a night guard. Uh, Luca and that, but he gonna be on ice skates all night. Unless they throw him on Hardy. Hey, listen, uh, Cardi still hey, start, right? Up. Yeah, what a what a H man. Walk H. on, man. Walk on, walk on, man. Little brother, hey, hey, what, what up, H man? Another another member of the crossover podcast, man. Listen, man. Hey, congratulations, brother. Stay tuned. Stay yeah, tuned. man. Yo, man. I was like, I don't even know, man. I was like the the Vince McMahon in the background, man. Doing all the pushing, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
Absolutely. But, but the deal, man, and Joe, I'm, I'm happy with every man on, on the show, and especially, I think the wild card for me, and this was the most important person, it was Mario. I think Mario's going to show out, man. I think that's the Absolutely. that was the missing piece because I think everyone on the panel is very opinionated. And if you ever caught up in the, the Discord discussions, it gets a bit wild. But we well, we done a test room one Rob, time. Rob, you definitely got to get in a Discord, bro. Hey, I'm going I'm to I'm come back. I just had to delete a lot of stuff off my phone. Yeah, man. I hear you, man. But one day we jumped on a uh, Marius channel and the weight was just running. I just seen, I seen the vision already, man. Yo, man, I was like Martin Luther King. I had a dream. I had a dream. Well, <laughs> yo. <laughs> <laughs> it looked funny as heck. <laughs> yo, so I just put it together. Well, I didn't put it together. We all came together, really. And everyone, everyone was vibes in. And then, yeah, man, missing piece was Mario. And boom, we were ready to go. Yeah, it's, 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 it's going to be fire, man. It's, it's going to be fire. Stay tuned, man. It's, it's going to be fire. Like, listen, um, H don't, I don't have a chat. I think H, I think H do got a channel. I don't know if you want to plug your channel or anything. Or yeah, I, I don't I got, now, my, my channel is a different type of channel, though. My, my channel, yeah, you got a different type of channel. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a religious channel, it's a Christian channel. I'm still going through the backwards. Okay, it's so not, it's when not, you write, listen. Sorry, go on. Okay, okay, okay. So, but when it listen, when it has when it is finished though, we're gonna plug that. Like you said, hey man, what up, what up, T Killer man? Hey, what's hey, good, Drew? What's good, fellas? Chilling. Ralphie H, what's going on, fellas? Chilling. What up, man? Oh, what up, man? What up, T Killer man? You, you, you all right? A little, little late to, little late to the show. What y'all cooking on? Nah, man, we just you know, man, we, we, we talking about man. everything, man. We talking about everything, like you know what I mean. We talking about we were talking about wrestling earlier, uh, boxing a little, a little bit. We talking about everything, uh, basketball. You know what I mean? Like I said, hey, like I said, hey, special announcement, man. Hey, if y'all, if y'all just tuning in, the crossover for FY Sports presents the crossover Saturday, five p.m. Yeah. Eastern. You know what I mean? You see, listen, man. Go listen. Big A. Rest of the podcast coming to this Sunday too. Stay. We gonna get. See, I, I was in and out. True. I was listen. I was. I heard like I heard the the wrestling part or whatever. And uh, yeah. I remember you said the other night that that you had a crossover show or whatever on FYF. So. Uh, salute, bro. You know, I'm 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 glad you got that going and I, on. And me, 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 shout out to me, H Dirty, Mariah, um Casual, Rebranding, Herm, you know what I mean? So I mean, listen, shout out to the team, man. Shout out to nah, the team. Man, this is, man, this is a tough killer cast, to give man. you your flowers, man. Take them flowers, this man. This is a tough cast. Oh, yeah, you know, listen, we, we listen, gotta, I, I ain't doing it by myself. I ain't doing it by myself or anything. Yeah, like, man, but you know, T Killer been working with you for about about five years yeah, now, man. Listen, Take those flowers, dog. Man, Come on, man. Listen, but listen, though, <laughs> but that being said, today, but like, hey, um, yeah, like, T a real man, one, yo, he a real one. Yeah. Oh, both of like, y'all. So, I, I just, cool, I just want to see all, all my brothers that I fuck with on this, you know, on any platform, just, just win. That's it. Nah, you man. know, I just want to see y'all winning. So we yeah, talk, and, and we talk more of this basketball too. It's a triple. It's a triple entendre. The name. That's why I like the name because it's, it's, it's a triple entendre. It's crossover. It's a basketball meaning crossover when it comes to the conversations that we're gonna talk about it, other sports and also the crossover is all of us united doing a podcast. You know what I mean? So listen, man. Um, bars. You know what I mean? So listen. That's why it's called a crossover. You know what I mean? So listen. 5 p.m. Saturday. Listen, it's gonna be listen. The best pot. Listen, man. The best panel. We 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 try to be the best panel out there, man. We ain't, we ain't, there's no gimmicks. There's no controversy. No drama. All just sports talk. Passionate. It's gonna be passionate. I ain't gonna sit and say ain't gonna be passionate. Whatever the case may be. But hey, it ain't gonna be no personals and you know what I mean. And you, Lamont won't gotta pull up and and, and address truth. <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, you got you got just 
you got intelligent dudes who know what they're talking about, especially whatever, you know, whatever, whatever sports ring we're talking about. Right. And, uh, like, you know, true, uh, H true, true. And, uh, and Ralph for school, you know, I, I was asking them cause I, I haven't really, I used to watch a lot of wrestling back in the day. So I had to ask them like, what, what's going on now, you know, and they gave me a lot of game about just what's going on. Uh, WWE world. Man, you know, all, I, I, all I know that Vince McMahon filed in a lawsuit, man. That's all I know. That's all I know about again, wrestling. But... Nah, I'm joking. All I know is Vince McMahon's fighting a lawsuit. That's all I know, man. That's the only thing oh, about yeah, wrestling. Yeah, he, 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 caught, he caught a little case. He had to step down. Um, I think that had to do with because UFC and WWF, I mean uh, WWE, you know, Ralph and uh, True could probably speak a little more intelligent than me about what's going on with that, um, the way they collided. But now they're like, and, I'm a, and y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, but now it's like uh, they're kind of uh, like together. Yeah, one big yeah. conglomerate. You're right. Yeah. Because yes. I've been, TKO like, I, I told them, H, I told them uh, last night, right? Cause I pulled up late last night too, you know. I just just been long days or whatever, so I gotta I gotta haul my boys. But um, I've been ODing on like the UFC, especially since you know I was like a casual fan or whatever. But like once the pandemic hit and there was no sports on, that was all I was watching was UFC. So to see them link up with a, a, a big company like W and then you see like dudes like Jorge Masvidal, you know, in the ring doing the knee, like the Askren knee. Um, just, yeah, just little things like that. I, I like to see that, especially for older athletes who just like, you know, they need a platform, you know, they need to get paid. However, however it is. And uh, I'm just for it. You know, mm-hmm. so I, I think it's a good thing, and I, I just think it's a great idea to be honest with you. I think y'all are, are really, uh, you know, changing the game a little bit as far as like, yo, it's, we can go over here, over here, over here based off of a basketball channel. So that's fire. Yeah, man. Tell you the reason, the real reason why it happened, T. Killer, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. This was the real reason why it happened. Yes, One sir. day we were watching. A, a, a very known channel and we seen the the breakup of the band and i laughed my head off because i said that was the the weakest thing you could have ever done we're taking advantage that's how it happened really if you know you know man if you know you yeah know. i'm a little I, I ain't even gonna ask you bro because I don't nah, necessarily I'm, I'm just, know what you're talking about, but not, I have a feeling if you said man. it, I I'm probably not being would. Se- I'm not being serious today, man. I'm not being serious. It's like it's like four, it's like <laughs> four o'clock in the morning, man. Don't worry, man. I'm I'm on some I'm on some wildness. Man. I'm talking about this right now, man. Yeah. I mean, anyway. I mean, listen, man. I, I mean, to if y'all know, you know what you can 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 you allude to? I mean, listen. I mean, I hey, man, like. There is other platforms out there that, you know what I mean, that do what we do. Even now, we do what we're doing now. But, like, it's, 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 H talking about PC letting ticket go. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, you talking about that. But it was oh, like, okay. even with, listen, it was just too much, too much drama. That's why I said earlier, you, you heard me, you heard me say it was too much drama. Um, like, like, listen, like, I mean, like bro, like, um, like you got, like I said, Lamont. Like I said, that's why I joked earlier. Like Lamont ain't gonna come in here and say, "Yo, true man, why you, why you did that, man?" Like, <laughs> it, 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 it's not gonna be that. It is, like, it's not like. I just like, try, not, honestly, true. Like I, I fuck with the channels that just like, just people that I talk to personally that I, I just feel are just good dudes and just I want to see them win. You know, like there's only a, there's only a, a few channels that I really frequent. You know, one of them is yours, and um, yeah, like I just I, I just I'm here for it. 
You know, I, I like to see good dudes link up that's knowledgeable, that know the game or know whatever, whatever, you know, if you're talking wrestling, if you're talking whatever, like I just want to hear intelligent, intelligent talk, you know, and you got dudes like Casual and Ralphie and like, yeah, like right. I want to hear, I'm, I'm here for it. You know, like I said, I don't yeah. even really watch wrestling like that. Like I'm more a UFC guy nowadays, but I was yeah. heavy on wrestling back in the day. So that's yeah, how man. like, that's how we got into that conversation last night, True. And I know it, it was late. I appreciate you letting me build, but sure. um, yeah, no, I, I, I'm with it, bro. I'm gonna check. I'm, I'm gonna check y'all out. Yeah, man, we can we can give Ralph a little cameo, man. We can treat him like Michelle and Destiny's Child, man. You can get a little feature, Ralph, man. Great. <laughs> and listen, like you said, though, man. Nah, because Ralph, 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 he know that Ralph, he knows his WWE, bro. Like, I, you got to give it Where's to him. Like, he was at WrestleMania yeah. the other day. That's why his voice was raspy and shit. Yo, so, man, he, he, he yeah. was so raspy, man. The first time I heard him, man, yo, it's like he's what? It's like he having the Benjamin Button. A fat man. <laughs> hey, real quick, y'all watching this Minnesota Denver game? Yeah, yeah I got it on. Okay. I ain't watching that, man. I'm, I'm, I'm in my bed, man. But I thought I'd join, man. Give show true some love, man. At the end of the day, true is a real one, hundred percent, man. But yo, quick question, T Killer. Yes, sir. Who, um, how have you been watching UFC recently? I'm waiting for uh, yeah I have but I'm I'm really I'm anticipating this next 300 card. Okay. Just saying that. Uh, like we, we, we go talk about it. Did, did, did you have like a see. specific fight you want to talk about? Yeah, no, 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 well, no, not specific fight. Just um, you know, with uh, yeah, like I seen I seen Taporia. I had Taporia. I had Taporia finish finishing Volkanovski. I didn't like how quick Volkanovski came back. Um, especially after getting knocked out, which he's never been knocked out. Um, yeah, there's just, there's just certain guy, you know, like a lot of the dudes that I used to love, like, like Masvidal was one of my favorites, bro. He's just, you know, he's gonzo, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Poirier, even Connor, Connor just brings a, a light to the, to the sport. Like nobody ever shed on it, but I just don't think Connor's. A real fighter anymore i just think he got too rich and uh whatever but it's like you got i think jamal hill is a problem i think he could potentially knock out uh i don't think that should him and alex Pereira should be the main event but i think they were trying to make connor and michael chan and it just didn't happen for whatever reason so whatever i think that's a great fight i don't think it goes more than two rounds i think somebody's going to sleep i mean i i, I think Jamal has only been finished by one dude, uh, the Scottish dude, Paul Craig. So, but he's never been knocked out or even really close to being knocked out. And he's flatlining folks. So, and then you got Pereira, who's just, he he's just surgical as far as striking. You know what I mean? Um, so that's what I'm looking at. I like Calvin Cata versus Aljamain Sterling. I like Sterling going up to 45. Um, Kata is, is, is basically from my part of the way, so I'm rooting for him. He's a lot taller, a lot more power, um, but anything can happen. Then you got, you got Yuri Prohaska fighting, um, homeboy that's coming off the injury. Uh, his name is escaping me right now, but he, he, he tore his ACL versus, uh, John Blahovich. And uh, this is his first fight back. That's a tough test. Um, there's just a lot of good fights on this card. I mean, you got, but even 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 Bo Nickel. I think Bo Nickel is going to be a champ within a year or two. I think he's gonna. I think he's the the opening fight of the main card. I mean, there's like 13 fights, and all of them are stacked. I think Wei Lee's fighting um, on the girl side. I think she's fighting. Uh, what's her name? It's just the card is just lit, bro. Like from from top to bottom. So it's like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be watching that because this is just is this is gonna be high 
high level martial arts to anybody that that really likes watching like real high level fights this is the card to watch it's gonna okay. be ridiculous oh, that's good man that wasn't the what question i was gonna ask though you know the question i was gonna ask was um what did you think yeah. of um michael Pe michael venom's page his debut and do you think he can he can hang at the top level i do my only my only question right and because of the way because of the way 170 is it's tough like i think he was trying to call out colby covington or something after that i th i think he he probably gets colby out of there um yeah it's 170 has been a weird it's been a weird weight class bro for a couple of years because they had a lot of revolt it was like Kind of like the same guys would fight each other or whatever. Charles Oliveira is actually fighting Armin Saruki, and I don't know how I forgot that. That, I think, is going to be fight of the night. So, everybody, that, but that's at 155. But, um, yeah, I think MVP is just, uh, he just came a little later than he should have, whether that was contractual or whatever. It might not be his fault. But, yeah, I think... A lot of people are calling for like MVP versus Wonder Boy, right? But I would like to see that from a fan perspective. But I do think like he just needs to fight somebody a little higher because he he's gotta if he's gonna try to get the belt, he's gotta you know what is he thirty three, thirty four age? Yeah, about that, he might even be a bit older. But he's around that age. I th I think he's thirty four, bro. And yeah. um. Yeah, so I liked his debut. I just think he he does have to same way Alex Pereira was kind of you know put through the rankings faster. Like Alex Pereira is a double he's won belts. He's not a double champ, but he's won a belt at 185 and 205 in like seven or eight fights, which is unheard of in the UFC. But they knew they they brought him in because they knew they wanted him to fight Izzy, and um, you know they had their they had their two fights. They went one and one, and uh, you know I think he's just at a point that you know when you, you you get a little older, you know I'm 37, bro. Like you get a little older, it's hard to cut weight, you know. So it's like I like him moving up to 205, and I thought I thought the the stoppage verse. Yuri Prohashka was a little early, but at the same time, I respect Yuri because he was just he he didn't make no excuses. I like guys like that that just don't make excuses. And Yuri is fighting on three hundred as well. So um, yeah, no, I just think if anybody that's a fan of, of the UFC, you, you might want to tap in on Saturday because I think this is gonna be a lit card, like like the best of the year type stuff. So okay. We'll see. There's oh, a lot. There's a lot of fights I'm looking forward to. H to just not be as long winded as I was, brother. <laughs> well, you can tell you you got passion for the sport. I ain't gonna lie. Like in terms of watching the UFC, absolute casual. I'm not gonna lie to you. In terms well, you of know, I, I wrestled and whatever. I was, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm the youngest of four. Days. One of my brothers was like a real high level wrestler in college and stuff like that. So a lot of okay. my buddies was like, like I don't know, I don't know what it's like in the UK, but like if you're oh. like a three, four time state champion in high school, that means you're an absolute problem. And oh, okay. then if that translates to college, that's that's why I'm high on on this Bo Nickel dude. Uh, he hasn't, he has, he's had five fights in the UFC that haven't gone past the first round that's dominance that's wow. just in his his last his last fight it was a replacement matchup but he he beat this dude with strike like he just flatlined the dude with strikes and then the fight before that now he got jujitsu too so like he he triangled the dude and like 45 seconds like like this kid is just nuts he's from yukon he fights out of american top team and they actually made like an american top team gym in yukon just, just uh 
it might be Penn State. Part of me, I'm, I'm saying UConn because of the basketball. The the girls that part of me thought it's Penn State, but um, yeah, bro, it's just he's that fight is probably the weakest fight on the card because I don't think it's gonna last long. But it's like, I mean, even you got Cody Garbrandt versus um. The, the former 135 champ that fought Brandon Moreno like three times, uh, Davison Figueredo. Since he moved to 135, he's looked like a problem because he, he's another one who's like 34, 35. Like, even if you're a shorter guy, like cutting weight to 125 when you get to that age is just tough. Anybody that cut weight knows what I'm talking about. Like, it, it, you're just so drained. So, yeah, no, I just think I think the way they set it up was lit. I think people are a little upset with the main event because they thought it was going to be a little bit bigger names. But Alex Pereira and Jamal Hill is going to be nuts, bro. I don't think it makes it out the second round. And I actually got Jamal Hill winning by knockout. Okay. Yeah, I do, too. Okay, man. Speaking of Venom, speaking of Venom Page, I ain't gonna lie, I don't think he liked that, to be honest with you. I think he's a the level you saw him at when he fought on my man, what's his my man name? Um, um You talking about you talking about the Bellator cat? Yeah, he not like that, to be honest with you. I mean this is when he got he got leg kicked and then got caught on the way up. Yeah, um Yeah, I, I mean he yeah, um, I mean, yeah, he, I mean, he's good, but like, I'm not gonna lie to you, if he go fight like, yeah, like Kevin, Holland. yeah, he beat Kevin Holland, but yeah, like I had him beating Kevin Holland, bro, but it's like, that's a good test. Kevin Holland don't right? fight, but yeah, but Kevin Holland don't fight smart though. Like Kevin Holland probably could have won. No, he he, he, so he like, don't. He don't. But to, Kevin Holland just tried to entertain, and he tried. I mean. The bad thing you said though, that division, that welterweight division got dogs. Like I said, what Bo ain't Bo Nickel or welterweight? No, nah, Bo Nickel's at um middleweight. Middleweight, my fault. Yeah. He, um, he's he's, he's one eighty five. MVP's one seventy. That's why I liked him going to the UFC. I just think they should have got him like a year earlier too. <laughs> kind of yeah. the same thing with Michael right. Chandler. Michael Chandler put on great fights, but he's like. Two and five in the UFC or something Cause, like that. Because I don't think, but I don't his think he beat Thompson. Thompson. so everybody wants to see him. Yeah, I don't think he beat Stephen Thompson at all. I don't think he. That's a. I don't think he beat Stephen Thompson. I'm, I mean, I'm not. I'm not mad at nine. that. True, but I do. I do pay attention to age, and it's like Stephen Thompson has got to be 41, 42 by yeah. now, yeah. and yeah, he gets hurt every fight. His hand, he he, yeah. he breaks his hand every fight. Like it's just, he looked ridiculous against Kevin Hall. He 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 schooled him. He made him quit. But is, um, listen, Stephen Thompson, one of the best stand-up fighters. I mean, Michael. I mean, and I mean, listen, Michael Page is going to try to take it, which that's not his strong suit, the grappling. But I mean, if you want to stand with Stephen Thompson, you better be like that, because I mean. I mean, I'll, Michael, but like I said, Michael Page can box and all that. I mean, you can, and then like you got Kobe Covington, and I mean, you got Gilbert Burns in that division. I mean, see, I'd I'd like to see I'd like to see MVP versus like so they were trying to make um the corny dude that's trying to be like Connor Ian Gary, but he's good, oh, yeah. he's slick. They were trying to make him versus Kobe, and that it don't look like that's gonna go down. So a lot of people go, all right, give him Steven Thompson. But I think they're just trying to they're trying to get MVP through the ranks just to see if he could potentially challenge for the belt. And I'm yeah. not mad at it because they seen what they you know, they did the same thing with Michael Chandler. They they send you up the ranks and see what happens. And uh I think that it was was MVP was a former champ in Bellator, right? Yeah, I know he lost the, to to do, but I think he revenged it. Yeah, but the difference is in Bellator is that the weight class is different. I think in Bellator, he was no, fighting. It's the same. It's a, 
No, the weight the weight classes are the same age. No, 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 no. He would, no, no. He was no. fighting. He was fighting. He was fighting catch weight bout specifically in Bellator though. Like his last yeah, fight. Yeah. He's fighting at one seven eight. Looking at now, like five. Yeah, but he, I think that was his. Part, I think that was his last fight, yeah. though, fellas. Like, but the most that was part, the only yeah, one because he. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, at the most part, because he fought. He, he fought. He fought dude that um, that beat him the first. He he he's got a brother too. Um, they both used to. Uh, man, why am I? Why can't I think of this dude's name? Yeah, you're, you're talking he about. Never you're talking about he never. Talking about, he, he he never won a belt in Bellator though. He never won. You're talking about Edwards, right? Ed, Edwards got a brother, Fabian Edwards. No, I'm talking about um, uh, the the Spanish cats. They they they, they basically they're name, like twin you, brothers. No, no Machi, Machido. You talking about? You talking about Patricky? No, no, Machido. No, no, no. That the pit bulls are one thirty five on. You talking about Diaz? You talking about Diaz? You talking about the Diaz brothers? No, because they were never in uh, Bellator. Um, but you're I'm on the right path. Know. Yeah, because we gotta think one seventy. True. I'm talking about the um Diego Lima. Diego Lima. That's what I'm talking. Oh, about. Douglas Lima. Diego Lima. Douglas Lima. Yeah, okay. Douglas. Because he was the Lima. former champ. Oh, uh, it might even he be yeah. It's Douglas Lima. It's it's Douglas yeah, Lima. Never, his his little brother never, is Diego. Yeah, he he never he was the championship in Bellator either though. Douglas Lima was the champ at one seventy, bro. He never, but he when he when he beat Douglas Lima, he never won the belt. He Douglas didn't have the belt at all. No, I know. I'm just saying Douglas Lima was the was the champ, and he fought MVP. He defended his belt against MVP yeah. and knocked him out. He hit him with a leg kick. Yeah. MVP then, tried to yeah. get up, and hit him with an uppercut, and flatlined him. And, and but no then he lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, he was he was pat. He was like 36 at the time, so. Yeah, that's why. I, that's why I'm Lima, saying. I Lima, think you start with Douglas Lima, and you, it's gonna be tough time. You in that welterweight division, the UFC. It's, 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 it's. I mean, see, I, true. You know who I think is gonna is gonna be champ at 170? Shavkat, Shavkat Rachmanov. He's yeah, a I, problem. I, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He, he just he just problem. whooped on Stephen Thompson like I I was me and Sturdy were were talking about it a while ago before it happened, and I was telling I was telling Sturdy I'm like, bro I I, th I think he's gonna flatline, uh Stephen Thompson, and Sturdy made a good point and he was like, well who flatlines Wonder Boy and I'm like you know what you're right, he's probably gonna TKO him or something like that, and. I forget how the fight ended, but I don't think it ended by decision. I think it was by TKO. Somebody can fact check me on that. But exactly what I thought was going to happen happened. Because this kid, this kid is legit. I want. I'd like to see him fight. Um, what's his name? Um, uh, dude with the. Why can't I think of his he name? He won by rear. He won by. He won by rear naked choke. Yeah, sure. I mean, he, he tapped him out. Yeah, yeah. Him out. yeah. I knew, I knew he finished the fight. Was the point? I want to see him fight Hamza. Shavkat yeah. versus Hamza would be lit, but I don't know if Hamza is just staying at eighty-five because Shavkat is one seventy. Yeah. Um. Let me see. Yeah, he probably. I mean. Yeah, that'd be a good fight. Um. Yeah, 185. Yeah, still, they ain't trying to get strong. Shicklin get strong. Shicklin ain't gonna get his rematch. Shavkat, I mean, uh, Hamza missed like missed weight. Like, remember, he was supposed to fight Nate Diaz, and he he was gonna oh, just yeah. destroy Nate Diaz, but he missed weight by like eight or nine pounds or something. So they basically made him move up. Then he fought Kamaru, and Kamaru actually. Gave him everything he could handle. Uh, Hamzad is more of like a, he's almost, he almost reminds me of like Connor as far as like, he's just absolutely dominant in the first round and a half. But then right, that yeah. fast twitch mu muscle fiber, like they just get tired. You know what I'm saying? So if you can get him out of that, like, you know, arguably Kamara won that fight. But 
Yeah. You know, Hamza just had the control time. Yeah, he, so that devil was a close ass fight. So I mean, crazy Kamar, yeah. Um, the Usman, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Usman been convinced he lost the belt. So it says, uh, yeah, Kamar Usman. I don't know what he's gonna do next per se. Say a middleweight or. I just think he's, you know, he he got to be 36 at best. He might even be 37. I think he's 36, but he's still a problem. And his yeah. wrestling is so ridiculous, and he can knock you out. So it's like he's always a great fight, you know? Like even dudes like Gilbert Burns, you know? Like he lost to Jack Magdalena, whatever dude's name is hard to say or whatever. Uh, but even that was like a good scrap, you know, like, so there's just certain guys like they, that got that ground game that they can just choke you out, but they got hands too. Like, it's just, that's why I love the sport, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely interesting. Yeah. Like Jack broke his arm mid fight and still won that. Versus an absolute yeah. killer and Gilda Burns, like so. It's like it's just Absolutely. you know, there's always another guy, man. There's always another guy that's just 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 like that, just savage, and you know, yes. that's why I love the sport. Yeah, we. I, I'm probably gonna do a watch party. UFC three hundred. Probably do a watch party, do a stream. So stay tuned for that. Probably do that after after the you know the show, this crossover show. I do a watch party, you know what I mean, for UFC 300. So stay tuned for that. We're going to watch the fights. So True. True. What do you um, think about – I can't believe we haven't brought this up. Who you got, Max or Gaethje? For the BMF. I got Holloway. I got Holloway, too. Gaethje's dead. I think if Holloway – I think if Holloway can weather the first two rounds, I think he can break. I think yeah. he can break Gagey down. Gagey dangerous though. I can't sleep on him. Yeah, but, not at all. But I got I got Max Holloway. Is he more a consistent fighter? If that makes sense. Um, when, I mean, yeah, true. When did you see, true. Did you see the the Poirier fight versus Max when Max first tried to move up to fifty five? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I remember it was a while ago. I mean, it was like, that man. was a it was a while ago, right? And and that yeah. was kind of sh- I don't want to call it short notice because I don't want to discredit Poirier because Poirier is just a dog. But Max basically took that I want to say on like five weeks notice or something. Yeah, he's a he's a tall he's a tall guy. Max is a big. He's a huge one forty five. Let's just keep it a buck. He got to keep. He got to cut like forty pounds to get to that weight. But he he's kind of you know he's a lankier fighter and he doesn't have that type of just one shot knockout power that Gaethje has. And just Gaethje knows how to just he'll just turn your leg off so you can't plant and actually throw. Yeah. So that that's what I'm gonna be looking at in the first. Two rounds. Uh, I'm gonna see how Max can kind of try to get away from them leg kicks from Gaethje because they're devastating. And yeah, uh, that's the thing too, but Jason Gaethje, that's, that's what I'm Justin Gaethje, man, he beat people too though. Like he beat Dustin Poirier, a better Dustin Poirier. They, 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 that's a better version of Dustin Poirier than you know what I mean. That beat um beat Max Holloway. So I mean. Sure, but but yeah. Dustin also knocked him out too. Yeah, so, that's, that's what I'm saying. Justin, yeah, so you know what I'm saying? Like it's just I just think I think Gaethje is so much more surgical nowadays. And yeah. um I think he knows like this is kind of like his last run. Like he's I've heard him say it, you know what I mean? Gaethje a real dude, like he, he keeps it a buck. But and and then you got a Max Holloway who's never been dropped in the UFC. He's been here forever. Um, I just think I just think that that's gonna be fight of the night, bro. I just feel like these dudes are gonna go at it. Yeah, because like I said, Justin's a bigger. Like I said, you now you, you throw hands in one fifty five. It's gonna like I said, it's gonna be 
it's gonna be tough, man. I, I, it's gonna be. I don't, man. It's gonna be a good one. It's definitely gonna be a. Because I don't one. think I don't think Gaethje hits way hotter than Dustin Poirier. To be honest with you, like I, I watched Max get teed up yeah. for like two rounds, yeah. and then he started coming back, but just the accumulation was just a little too much. And and Max don't really have like that one shot knockout power that that a Gaethje or a Poirier has. But Poirier said after the fight, he was like, bro, Max almost broke me because Max just has the craziest gas tank on the planet. There's a reason when you're in that type of shape, that has to do with chin. Like nobody really talks about that. Like when you're in incredible shape, that gives you the ability to take shots. Whereas dudes who just aren't like even even Colby, I'll give him that like until Kamaru knocked him out, like. You know, it was hard to really finish him, you know? So it's like, right. it's just these dudes that are just in incredible shape. Like, you're able to take these shots. And if you watch the sport, like, it's just, it rings so true. So that's why I'm so intrigued by this fight. Like, that's my fight of the night for UFC 300. Like, I'm tuning into that. Even though I got a bunch of other ones I want to watch. But that's the one I really want to see. Yeah, Cause Max um, ain't old. Max is like thirty three at best. Yeah, thirty two, yeah, thirty three. Yeah. He just been fighting for so long. Everybody thinks he's old. He's not. Right. Um. That's a fact, though. Um. Yeah. It, that's gonna be dope. Um. Yeah. I'm, what time? Oh yeah. About to end this stream. What time? Yeah. About to end this stream. Um. I'm about to. I'm doing a little plug, plug in. Like I said, hey, subscribe to the channel at True King TV. All that great stuff. Shout out to T Killer, H from, from Jamaica, H from the UK, AKA H from the UK. Um, great conversations, man. Sure. Like I said, listen, man. Great conversations again, man. Like I said, we're gonna listen, we talk about all sports. Oh, and like I said, FYF presents crossover Saturday. Stay tuned. The new era, man. It's it's, it's gonna be dope. We're talking all sports, UFC 300, basketball, the playoffs coming up soon. And if they're off season, all that great stuff, man. So stay tuned. We got a store, you know what I mean? The topics and conversations, you know what I mean? So stay tuned for that. Um, shout, um yeah, um, all that great stuff. So hey, shout out to T Killer, Peace Deuces, shout out to H. It's your boy True, Peace Deuces. Yeah, y'all y'all be good. Y'all be good. I'm definitely gonna pull up on that, True. I got I gotta check y'all out. I know y'all gonna yeah, do your thing. Appreciate yeah, but salute, man. Salute, man. Salute, man. Next, catch you on the next session. Catch you on the next one. All right. Have a good one, fellas. You too, you too.